provided by American Home Furniture and Mattress. Get the guaranteed lowest price every day on the state's largest in-stock selection of furniture. This is New Mexico United Soccer, and it's right here, your flagship station, ESPN Radio 1017, the team, but also simulcast tonight, Pro Network streaming live across the pond in Wales, England, for New United taking on Cardiff City FC, and also on United's YouTube page tonight, the game can be seen, and this is an exciting atmosphere in front of us, Sam. It's not the typical location for New Mexico United, not their home field here, playing at the University of New Mexico Soccer Complex in track and field. Uh, there was an Isotopes game earlier. It's New Mexico's minor league team, 3A, AAA team, played a game actually earlier and so had to play this matchup here. But a true soccer pitch, and it's at true form. A gorgeous setting should have about 7,000 on hand for tonight's matchup and a beautiful contest. It's a first-ever international contest professional done here uh, in the state of New Mexico. So yeah. really excited about this. Yeah, the hype is certainly there. And, you know, it's, it's a great Im intimate atmosphere, almost shades of – the Open Cup match at FC Dallas at Westcott Field. It was on the SMU campus, a much smaller field, kind of like this one, which seemed to benefit New Mexico United in that match. They like a little bit smaller, louder atmosphere, and this place is going to be rocking here in about an hour. Well, I promise you it, it won't be quiet here as this place will fill in, and it will fill in. It won't, There won't be a seat to be had. And the University of New Mexico Soccer Complex, the one thing that is, is I think, important to everybody, especially Cardiff City, who just played San Antonio. We're going to talk about that in a moment. That's a foe of, of United a little bit earlier this week. Uh, the field is in such good condition. It's in true form. It's ready for the fall season for the women of New Mexico who will be playing their home games here. It is perfect. We are down there. It's got a light fluffiness to it. It is cut to a T. It was just lined this morning. It gives you the feels if you're a football fan, if you will. And so that's big for Cardiff City FC because they just played at San Antonio. Team that United, by the way, had beaten 3-0 a little bit earlier this year. Uh, they won 1-0, Cardiff City did. But that field was basically dirt and it was painted green. It was in an atrocious shape. Uh, it took a disease on, I believe, Sam. And so it was just a bad atmosphere. So I know Cardiff City is going to appreciate the pitch in front of us tonight. And we're ready for something nice. We're talking about the fluffiness of the grass. I know that you're Do ready you like to that? go. That was good. We've been talking about this match for a long time long time now uh, Peter Trevisani and United getting ready for this one and the grass is fluffy and ready to go and we also have you know, the unique element here for Cardiff City uh, playing soccer at 5,000 feet yeah no it's going to be a different atmosphere um, it's going to be a brutal hot today right it's been high 90s it's starting to die off you're looking still mid 90s tonight those of you folks here in Albuquerque listening and paying attention, you know it's been a dry heat all day. I know my crew's been setting up all day here, Sam, and, and, and they've needed a lot of water breaks already. So it's something a little bit different, I think, for Cardiff City to deal with. Additionally, the elevation is high, and that is going to be something they're going to have to deal with as well. But this is a friendly, so don't get us wrong. And the folks that don't know what a friendly means, this is an exhibition game for Cardiff City. This is their... Their tour in, in North America, really, this is their preseason. Get them warmed up because their league, Championship League, is going to start in August, and so they're trying to get informed. So hence they played San Antonio uh, not too long ago, winning 1-0, and now here against United, hoping to get to form as well. United also trying to tune up, and we're going to talk about a little bit of woes, Sam, that United have had, but they're trying to get more of their players involved tonight so they can be deeper as well. Yeah, a little bit of a, a rough go of it here the last six weeks, at least in league play. The, the Open Cup has been talked about enough. It was a magical run, just really doing a great job of putting New Mexico United on the map, getting them some national coverage, some national attention. But yeah, as far as uh, league play goes in the USL, not a lot to write home about over the last six weeks, which was the last time United earned a league win. So they're trying to get that going here, like you said, trying to turn things around. And hopefully this will be a good opportunity for them to do that. We'll get to the keys to the match later on in the pregame as we get closer to kickoff. But you know, really the hope for these guys tonight is certainly that they can you know, put up, put up a good showing against a team like Cardiff who was in the Premier League last year. But also 
just to just to treat this match for what it is, just to have fun with it, just try to relax and get back to some of the things that allowed them to be so successful early on when they spent a little over a month on top of the Western Conference. We know this team has it in them, and hopefully they can bring some of that out tonight. If you're just joining us, glad you can join us. Adam Deal along with Sam Hauser. You're listening on ESPN Radio 101.7, the team, or you're watching here on the live stream brought to you by ProView Networks. Tonight's broadcast live viewing brought to you by visit albuquerque and sam i'll tell you right now cardiff city fc coming from the english premier league they got relegated those of you who don't know what that means if you finish bottom three in the best league in england you get relegated to what is the championship league and which is their division two and then there's division two and division one and so that's of course it's a tier and it's a system that's very familiar in europe now that being said Cardiff City had spent 17 years at the highest league in the Premier League, and they just got relegated. They were actually third to last and actually had a lot of chances. They lost six of their last eight games in the right. Premier League, though they did win their very last two. A lot of people might be familiar with this. Manchester United, the great franchise uh, across the pond. So uh, they won 2-0. That was their very last competitive game in the English Premier League, but they were relegated, so they're trying to get back to form. They spent 17 years there before this happened. Yeah, it was an incredible run, and uh, uh, Neil, uh, Neil Warnock is the manager of Cardiff City kind of talked about this year's team uh, being a little bit uh, different just probably more suited to the the championship league than the EPL but uh, th this is a, a prestigious program a prestigious team uh, nonetheless talked about uh, being in the EPL when you spend if you if you spend one year in the Premier League you're doing something right you're a very good team but 17 years like you said in a relegation uh, system this is a, a top-notch side and so this is gonna be a great test for United and United, you'll see a different lineup tonight from New Mexico United. And we'll get into what that lineup is. We've got starting lineups on both sides. It'll come a little bit uh, as we get into this pregame. Kickoff expected to be right around 745. And, of course, we'll have all the action live for you right here on ESPN Radio and on the stream. Now, you, you look at, we talked about Cardiff City and what they have done. You talk about New Mexico United and what they have done. And this is the first year of existence for New Mexico United, right, as a pro team. And already so much has been done. The U.S. Open Cup, Sam, it was incredible to run to make all the way to the quarterfinals as over hundreds of teams across the United States compete in this cup. And, of course, people in England would understand that th it's much like the U.S. or, excuse me, the FA Cup, right? It's, right. It's anybody, great teams, great house teams, beer league teams could even compete and make their run. And United were able to upset a couple of Division One teams here would be called the MLS and a win against Colorado Rapids in a shootout, a win against FC Dallas, 2-1, to one, and then a loss just recently uh, at Minnesota against Minnesota United FC, 6-1. to one. Of course, we had all that coverage here on ESPN Radio, but it was a great front unit for United, but now it's time to get back into form for them. Yeah, time to get focused uh, back onto league play, and that's kind of been the message around, the, around New Mexico United here this entire time. It's the good thing about the Open Cup being where it is. It's so early on in the season that you can give it your all in that. And if it means sacrificing a little bit in league play, there's plenty of time to make it up. And especially here for New Mexico United, where the story continues to be those 10 key home matches at the end of the regular season schedule that we're all focused on. But yeah, right now, just enjoy tonight at Sac Republic on Saturday. A great opportunity for some revenge and to get United back on track, get them moving back in the right direction up the Western Conference table in the USL, like you said, but you know it, it's 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 just such a great opportunity to take all this in. I mean, you talk about everybody involved in the Open Cup. There was a team from Orange County out of the NPSL, uh, kind of just almost like a at a club team level that made a run. Certainly, New Mexico United and St. Louis FC. I mean, what a time here for for soccer in this country, getting uh, getting all this national attention and now the international attention with Cardiff City coming here, uh, Minnesota United, who New Mexico just played. They took on Arsenal in a friendly, uh, uh, I believe it was either yesterday or a couple days ago, so a lot going on right now. We talk about this being the first season ever t for New Mexico United. Well, Cardiff City FC, they've been around since 1899. A little bit longer. Just a little bit of a difference, huh? They got a little bit of an advantage in that category. By the way, we talk about the U.S. Open Cup and what that means here, and the FA Cup very similar over in England. Cardiff has actually won that back in 1927. So there's a lot, there's rich history from Wales, England, Cardiff City. And they're looking to get back into form tonight. And obviously their goals for the season is to get back into the Premier League. United's goals for the season is to get in position for playoffs, which just a moment ago it seemed like New Mexico United was on top of the Western Conference and ruling the world. No, it really did. And, and that's 
kind of the advantage of, of being a, a first-year team. Nobody has any idea what you're going to look like. Nobody has any idea what you're going to bring to the table. And United used that with the chip on its shoulder. You know, Kavon Freider, all the experience that he has at all different levels from international play, all around soccer, down your last year and, and just becoming a completely different player. Uh, certainly all the New Mexico connections, Devin Sandoval, uh, the way that he's played, certainly Chris Weehan, Santi Moir, who we have to mention as well. The way that all of this has come together, you know, the biggest thing that you point to, Adam, is just the, the culture of this organization from the very beginning, from the day that the USL announced New Mexico was getting a team and the vision that Peter Trevisani and everybody involved had. You know, it, it seems like kind of, uh, kind of cliched, you know, might make you want to roll your eyes, but that's how you get here. That's how United gets on top of the Western Conference table for about a month. That's how they make it to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open Cup, which, by the way, we need to work on some kind of uh, some kind of banner for that, for making it to the Midwest region, making it you to... You think so? Like we should hang a, a banner for quarterfinals? That's, that's not... Well, for, for quarterfinals... You for, think so? For, for making it out of the... the making it out of, I guess, the quote I mean, it's lovely, but do you... I mean, you, you love the run, but is it a banner worthy? Well, one day we can take it down when they actually we win can the debate Open this. Cup. I think we should debate this. We'll get so maybe later. And by the way, we might debate this, and you could join Sam and as I say, Sam hosts uh, United Weekly every week. Saturday, you can join us at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on ESPN Radio 101, 7 the team, and all your home for all sports, for television, you can join ProView Sports Network as well. Listen, we've got a lot to talk about. In fact, we're going to have Vice President of Sales and Operations on here in just a moment, Ron Patel. He knows a lot about what happened and how Cardiff made their way to Albuquerque. He's coming up next, and then Sam Hauser, the Sam Hauser right next to you, is going to give you more your Montano Acura keys to the game and how United can maybe steal a nice victory tonight in this friendly. A lot more to come. Keep it right here. United Soccer on ESPN Radio 1017, the team and streaming live. Attention all New Mexico. Hey, where's Ross and Justin? I don't know, bro. Yo, this is crazy. Y'all gotta come check this out. Come on, come on.
Chris here live on ESPN Radio 117 the team and streaming across the world via Proby Sports Network. This is all brought to you by Visit Albuquerque. Adam Deal, Sam Hauser. We've got the call tonight. Kickoff coming for you, New Mexico United, as they take off Cardiff City FC. But joining us right now, Vice President of New Mexico United, a big piece of the whole puzzle, my friend Ron Patel, but also, more importantly, tonight, Englishman Ron Patel. How you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me up here in this lovely... Uh, warm press box. Very warm, <laughs> but you know what? We're excited about this. Atmosphere is already looking beautiful. We've talked about this time and time. It's ridiculous what's been created already, and you've been behind this and your whole team. Um, but it's all—it's in front of you. And we, you and I were joking. We we're looking back during the preseason against University of Denver, a very good team, but United trying to just get acclimated and figure it all out. And we're here, and the pitch looked a lot different. Did you expect what's come? You know, six months later, what's happened with with this? You know, I, I don't think I could say that anybody expected this. And you know me, Adam, I'm the eternal optimist. But uh, really what, what has happened this year cannot be explained. Um, we, we knew we had something when we threw our, that black and yellow bash. I don't know if you remember that last November. Downtown Albuquerque, 550 people showed up on a Thursday night. And that was fun. And I'm like, all right, we got something here. Mm -hmm. And uh, But then what, you know, I've seen how many talented people have come to work for this team. Uh, when you talk about a team effort, and I'm not just trying to make a silly sports pun, but this team, this this front office team and the team on the field, of course, is incredible. We have so much young talent, so many creative people, all the wonderful marketing you see on social media, in, on YouTube, and the video content, and the photo content, and the graphic content, that's all done in-house by this incredible marketing team. And they're really, I think, what makes this team go. Uh, and then some uh, ag an aggressive young sales staff that's doing really well. And then, of course, uh, we have our merchandise team. You see our merchandise all over town. And then we've got our fearless leader, which there's no way we would be, this team would be what it is now if it wasn't for Peter Trevisani, who's our who's our president and CEO. Now, Carter City, obviously in Wales, but it have been in the English Premier League for the last 15 years, excuse me, 17 years. And I know that you know you grew up in England, yeah. which is not Wales, but the English Premier League, Liverpool is your team, and so you understand Cardiff City and the passion behind it sure. and what they bring in, so bringing that over here to Albuquerque, New Mexico, that's that's quite a trek. You know, I had a chat last night with a few of the front office folks and the training staff, and Neil Warnock, the head coach from Cardiff, and I asked what they thought, and they were so impressed with, obviously, the beautiful facilities they've got here at UNM to be playing on. That game field, that pitch out there looks beautiful. It's nice right now, huh? Um, and they were just really impressed. We had a good conversation about how the, the facilities that we have in the United States, and I can assure you that's only going to get better with this team being here in, in New Mexico, but the facilities we have in the United States, they were telling me it's con it, they're convinced that America is the next soccer country, even though it's, it, it feels like the, the, the We've soccer We've been saying that here. for like ever. Yeah, it, it's here. We've got the facilities in this country. Uh, we need to obviously keep putting uh, resources into coaching and, and coaching our kids from a young age and, and playing the game the right way uh, and investing in that side of the game. But it just continues to get better and better. And, and to me, I, I, Adam, i got to pinch myself. Uh, but I'm sitting here watching a team that beat Manchester United 2-0. I like to throw that in there. The last game of the season. I think so a lot of people, unless you're a Man U fan, <laughs> love it, right? All you Carter fans back in uh, in Wales, thank you Rejoice. so much. Rejoice. Thank you so much from a young Liverpool fan uh, here in New Mexico. I loved seeing that result at the end of the year. But, uh, but no, it's just it's, it's incredible that I see a team like Cardiff City here in New Mexico. Was there anything specific as just as far as why Cardiff compared to maybe any other teams? You know, certainly they were here playing San Antonio, but it was a whole organizational effort. But just what was it specifically about Cardiff you guys were able to make this happen? Yeah, it was part of it was convenience, I think. They were already over here doing a tour, so we were able to coordinate the logistics where they, ca they came over to San Antonio. They were going to Edmonton next up, uh, up in Canada. And uh, it just worked out well for their trip, so we're able to, to negotiate. There's, there's brokers that handle these kind of deals, so there's a broker that says, hey, we're going to bring this team here, and we're going to bring the team there. So you got to arrange it through the broker and come through. And Peter was the one that kind of took the lead on it, and that's, you know, a lot of people think, oh, he's the owner, right? He just sits back and, and counts the money or whatever. No, Peter is in the office every single day. He lives in Santa Fe, drives down. For those of you in, in the U.K., that's about a, an hour drive every day he comes down to work. And uh, he's in it. He's he's in it every single day. And he's the one that took the lead on this and said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure we have a big game, and it can't just be a, a small team. It's got to be a big team with history." And, and here you have it. I know this isn't great radio, but can you confirm that the grass is fluffy tonight? <laughs> That's what I said. I thought I saw fluffy. Jason Pohl, the the uh, the one, the only Jason Pohl down there with his grass fluffer earlier. But no, the grass is <laughs> fluffy. It's soft. It's a little. Uh, it's very forgiving. I don't. You, Sam doesn't like the term I use. I, I, I love it. No, <laughs> I'm a soccer guy. I'm embracing guy, it. You know? It's fantastic. <laughs> 
No, the grass, the grass looks and feels beautiful. Obviously, those of you in Radio Land aren't looking at it, but I assure you it is, it is a beautiful grass that they're playing on tonight. And, and Cardiff just came back from San Antonio, who's got a beautiful stadium, and they had such an unfortunate turn of events where they had a disease kind of hit their grass. So their, their grass, a lot of their grass had died, so Cardiff just came from that. So like uh, this is a treasure so right now. This is what a treasure to compared play. to the field they just played. Well, I'll tell you what, San Antonio is a great organization. New Mexico United may be in the same boat because as Isotopes Park's ground crew do an amazing job, it's, it's still incredible. a diamond that they have to it's cover up. It's still grass that's brought in. You can't play this Isotopes stuff. Now that, that being yeah. said, it's been forever since New Mexico United have even tasted a game here in Albuquerque right. on the road with the U.S. Open Cup. But I wanted to ask you about that because I want fans to understand we were able to broadcast the game last week live on ESPN Radio, and those of you watching us stream, glad you can. But the U.S. Open Cup run for this Division II soccer team in a first year was almost unprecedented. And, and it ended in a gorgeous facility against a very worthy opponent, opponent obviously, in United uh, from Minnesota. But talk about that experience and just the fans, and because I, I know you know you went up, and, and it was an amazing. It was the greatest six minutes in New Mexico United <laughs> young history when Santi Moore scored that goal. We, I, we went nuts. We just didn't know what to do with ourselves, looking at each other, screaming, jumping up and down. I'm sure it was the same here at all the watch parties in town and those listening on the radio as well. But uh, it was it was a, it was awesome. It was great to see Minnesota United. We looked at them and said, "Okay, that's what we got to get to, right? That that facility, that organization, I think that's the pinnacle, front office, isn't it? Like top. Every, oh yeah, that's cream of the crop. And they they were they were class all around, from their fans to their to their employees, just everybody from top to bottom was incredible to work with. Fans were so welcoming. I mean, they kept telling the us. Minnesota nice the Minnesota nice is real. Nice like, is it's completely. a real yeah. deal. It's very real. Do you listen Except to the – Oh, I met Sam, and I didn't think it was real. Do you listen to podcasts? You know. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Do you buddy. listen to podcasts? <laughs> go, do you listen to podcasts? Listen to the, go listen to the Curse Cast. You know, David Carl. <laughs> right, 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 of Antonio. course. They just did an episode on Minnesota nice pretty much, and they, they covered it perfectly. But we, we were in the stadium. The Minnesota fans were coming up to us. You guys have traveled better than any MLS team that's ever come here, they said. Well, yeah, I mean, wow. what did that mean to you guys? I mean, you have uh, Minnesota United supporters that are you know, giving you guys all these compliments, whether it was the team or the curse, everything else. Just, you know, how did you guys take all that in? It was it was awesome. They kept coming up and compliment and com complimenting us. And it wasn't just being nice. Yeah, we're up 4-1. You guys are cute. It was genuine, like, hey, you guys are cheering the whole game. And we did. What we cheered for 90 right? minutes. I know. The, the final whistle, I was down there with them, too, and we were getting louder and louder until that 90th minute. We were so proud that New Mexico was represented so well on the big stage. These comments right now brought to you by Delta Dental, America's largest, most trusted dental benefits carrier. Glad you could join us. We're joined by Vice President New Mexico United, Rob Patel, Adam Deal here with Sam Hauser. We'll have kickoff coming up here in just a moment as New Mexico United takes on Cardiff City FC. It's live on ESPN Radio. 101.7 the team and also simulcast also on New Mexico United YouTube page and across the pond for Cardiff City as well. Ron, before I let you go, what, do you, what does United have to do right now? What do you think in this exhibition game, this friendly, if you will, uh, to kind of use this as a tool to help them get back on the page that they once were, back into form in league play? Yeah, I mean, you you know me, Adam. I've never claimed to be a coach, right, so I'm not right. going to talk But you're tactics. a super fan. I'm a super fan. I'm not going to talk tactics, but what I will say is just having this game, I think, is going to be good for the mentality of the players. They've been away from our home fans for so long, and, you, and you've got the curse down there on the south end of the goal, just pumping these guys up right now. All the fans, when they came in, cheering. I think these guys just need this 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 crowd. I mean, they've missed this crowd. Uh, we've had a tough road stretch along with the Open Cup and some tough road games in the USL, but I think just having the crowd in, in their ears is going to be great for everybody. Really appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for joining Thanks us for again. Yes, thank you. Out. And uh, best of luck. And uh, wish, wish the best to all the Carter City supporters over in the UK. And I uh, hope you enjoy the match tonight and, and some good football coming brought out of New Mexico. Thank you, Ron Patel, Vice President. New Mexico United joining us. Gracious with his time. He has been a busy, busy guy. Those comments are brought to you by Delta Dental, America's largest, most trusted dental benefits carrier. Adam Deal, Sam Hauser here with you, leading you up to kickoff. Sam, always fun to talk with Ron. I, I, to be honest, if everyone knows... The PDL team that was here, Albuquerque Soul, it's a big reason in him taking steps forward, uh, creating what is now New Mexico United. He's got a big piece in it. Yeah, Ron was our, our very first guest on United Weekly, actually. You know, like you mentioned, Saturday mornings, 10 to 11 on ESPN Radio 1017. The team, Ron was our, our first guest just to kind of establish that relationship. But you can tell, I mean, he's a lifelong soccer fan. You can tell the passion that he has for soccer, for Albuquerque, for this team. And that's been a big part of, of what's made all this happen and how we got to this point. All right, well, it brings us now to the Montagna Acura keys to the game. Montagna Acura, your Southwest Acura dealer. 
You can visit them on 1200 South Resident, uh, Resident excuse me, <laughs> 1200 South, what am I saying here, Sam? South Renaissance. <laughs> Renaissance. <laughs> that was terribly done. Let's, let's do it over again, okay? These are the Montano Acura keys to the game. 1200 South Renaissance, you can visit them. The best luxury SUV for the money. 2019 was voted by U.S. News and World Report. You can check out the 2019 RDX today. What are the Montano Acura keys to the game? Sam Hauser. Well, a couple of things here for tonight in the early observation for New Mexico United on their side is Cody Mizell not in net tonight. They're going to uh, get some uh, some other experience in net, which is important for the long haul you know, for the season. Certainly, uh, Cody Mizell will continue to remain one of the most valuable keepers in the entire USL, but just to get some experience in there, just to get somebody else having a feel for, for being in net during a live game is going to be important going on just, you know, in, in the most unfortunate situation, if anything did happen to Cody, just so somebody's in there and not going in completely green. So that's one key tonight. Good that United's using this friendly with that opportunity. And simplistic as it may be, Adam, you know, we talked about it in the first segment. Just have fun. Just enjoy this tonight. You, you, you have a team that played in the Premier League last season, and for a very long time, they're coming to your turf. Put on a show. You welcome the guests over. You show them a good time, and hopefully put on a good match tonight. But United, just relax and, and enjoy this game because you, you imagine as, as strong as the culture around this organization is, last six weeks of league play probably haven't been fun. And so, you know, the last thing you want is for a friendly for these guys to be tight tonight and, and, and wound up and stressed. Just enjoy this night and, and uh, try to get some good vibes going for Sac Republic on Saturday. All right, we appreciate that, Sam. And again, this game about to kick off here. Projected start time about 7.45, and we will have all the play-by-play -play action for you here on ESPN Radio 1017, the team, and also live streaming as well. You can go to New Mexico United YouTube page as we get ready. So let's check a look at the starting lineup right now. For New Mexico United, it's going to be a little bit different tonight. You're going to see a lot of new faces tonight also for New Mexico United and trying to get a lot of players acclimated into the system and players maybe that don't get a lot of playing time. So Ben Bury, he is the goalie tonight, not Cody Mizell. We have not seen that in any form. And so you'll see a new face behind the net. Josh Suggs, he will be the left back. Two center backs, Justin Smith and Rashid Tete. Manny Padilla will be the right outside back. Juan Pablo Guzman and Tony Salar will be in the midfield. Pushing high will be Chris Weehan right underneath, right underneath Kavon Freider. And Ken Akamatsu will be on the left wing. On the right wing, David Estrada. And that's how it lines up for New Mexico United. Of course, Troy Lassane has done a fantastic job with this program so far. Uh, but you will see some new names tonight. And, and also, legs have to be saved on both sides. Now, this is, this is a friendly for Cardiff City. They're just trying to get physically fit, get their gentlemen ready so they're ready for league play as their league play starts in early August. As for United, they're in the thick of things right now. A big game coming up against Sac Republic, uh, Sacramento Republic member beat United here in Albuquerque not too long ago, 3-0. And so a game that is much needed because United right now, they sit in ninth place on the table in the Western Conference as opposed to first three weeks ago. Yeah, and so this is an opportunity for a lot of guys here for United to get some experience, and you know whether it's against Cardiff or or anybody else. There, are, the bottom line is there are some adjustments that have to be made. You know, so these guys have to have to wake up a little bit and get ready for the the grind of here of the middle and the end of the season going forward, just to try to get back up the up the USL table, like you said. And so this will be an opportunity for some of the regular starters to sit and maybe you know get a, a good look at the field. This will be an opportunity for some guys to get some experience and for Troy Lassane to continue to play with some different lineup combinations. We saw that a lot in the league matches intertwined in the Open Cup. We saw him do a lot of that and be some more of that tonight. Well, you look at United and what they have done so far, uh, six wins, eight draws, right? Eight. I mean, that's a ton. A lot of points that have slipped away from them, too, as well. A lot of those games have come late where United have let up a lead. Uh, especially against Oklahoma City, who's fighting for a playoff spot as well midway through the season, but six, eight, and now five on the season. But it's what have you done for me lately? And you look at New Mexico United, yes, the U.S. Open Cup, beautiful. We talk about that amazing run. It has been fantastic. But in league play, let's go over what has happened. And it was a tie, a draw that I mentioned against Oklahoma City that kind of started this spur. And then a loss to Sacramento Public, 3-0. They lost then on the road to Las Vegas. The lights five to one. Lost, or excuse me, drew uh, LA Galaxy two, their second team, one one. 
the Monarchs, Real Monarchs from Utah, lost to them 1-0, and then a loss at Fresno 2-1. Yes, Fresno's at the top of the table right now, but still the spiral has begun in league play. Yeah, and some of it's a little bit just unfortunate timing for New Mexico United because a lot of times the last five, six league matches, every time they've played one of these teams, they've been at their hottest, whether it's been Sac Republic on the rise or Las Vegas, like you said, certainly Fresno, even Real Monarchs, it was the first match for Real under an interim head coach, but at that time they were on an active three match win streak, so United's just catching a lot of these teams playing some really good soccer right now. Now nobody's going to use that as, as an excuse because United did the same thing to a lot of these teams earlier on in the season, but they just have to find a way to get back to that high level of soccer that they were playing early on. Now, much like we mentioned, New Mexico United, with their starting lineup, a lot of players are going to come off the bench. This friendly, there is not going to be players playing 90 minutes, I can tell you, especially in this heat and this atmosphere. And that's the same for Cardiff City, right? Their starting lineup tonight might look a little bit different, uh, as you would expect, but it's going to change as the night goes on. How do you think that Cardiff City is going to deal with the heat and, and this elevation tonight? Yeah, well, that's the biggest thing. I mean, th they won't see anything like this uh, on on their home turf anywhere in the UK they won't see anything close to 5,000 feet I mean I, th I think I saw that the highest elevation anywhere in Wales is a little over a thousand so this is really unique territory for them but it's also good experience I mean they had four or five guys from their under 23 roster that got some good minutes in the second half against San Antonio on Saturday so we are uh, I mean I don't envy you tonight you're gonna have a full lineup card you yeah, know it's it's not you could get used to the 11 and then the three substitutions right it's gonna be a lot different at Cardiff City FC the lineup with Neil Etheridge in their goal uh, Peltier Bennett Morrison and Brown they'll be in the back Rawls Volks Murphy and Reed in that midfield Mendoz Lang and Ward will be up top high for Cardiff City. That's how they'll line up. And so uh, we expect to see a lot of changes tonight. In fact, the big roster that we got from Cardiff, there's a ton of names on there. And, and some players really that are trying to make their way into this program, uh, trying to show off a little bit. Both sides, some people are going to get some some show-off time. Tonight, yeah, this really. is a very young Cardiff roster. Again, as San Antonio saw on Saturday and probably a lot of the same here tonight, they're trying to integrate their young guys into the, the regular roster because – uh, uh, just like New Mexico United, you know, Cardiff's got a little chip on its shoulder, too, uh, uh, being relegated down into the championship league. So this is a fresh start for them as well, and I would fully expect them to make the most of it. Well, it's going to be a beautiful evening. It's going to be a warm, hot evening here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. New Mexico United, they'll be wearing their black, famous now, Meow Wolf jerseys. Uh, trimmed up in yellow. The black and yellow will live strong throughout the University of New Mexico soccer complex tonight, expecting about 7,000, and it should be a good atmosphere. That being said, Cardiff City FC, a little untraditional. Their kits are flaring tonight, bright orange all through and through, trimmed up in blue, so a lot of flair. Oh, they got the fit. traffic cone bottoms going. Yeah. What it last Before we get set here for our last break, what are your final thoughts here on our pregame show? Final thoughts here for tonight is uh, just this has been a highly anticipated match. We've known about this coming up for a while, and now it's just uh, it's just a matter of watching it play out and just taking in uh, what should be 90 beautiful minutes. Well, kickoff is coming your way when we return. We've got it for you live play-by-play -play action. Adam Beal, Sam Hauser with you when we come back. It's New Mexico United taking on Cardiff City FC, and it's right here on ESPN Radio, 1017, the team and live stream. <laughs> gestures like ordering a beer i will have one no your operating system is not old enough ha, ha, ha. Ha. there's enough artificial in the world Michelob ultra no artificial colors or flavors superior light beer that is a good one <laughs>
my name is Nathan Lucero, and uh, I was I'm just coming home from uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're good. We're good, dude. It's our all June 8th. It's June 8th, man. I can't believe it. The idea came because I did the math and I knew my wife was going to be alone for about 425 days with my three beautiful boys and uh, she needed to be thanked in a big way. New Mexico United has hit it off huge for this state and for this city and uh, it was this was what I thought about six months ago to say thank you to her and for all of her sacrifice um, for our nation. So, get to hug him. Oh man, don't know what's gonna happen out there. It's gonna be great. We're good. We are good. <laughs> We're good. We're good, dude. We didn't start this for just one city. We aren't doing this for just one person. We're doing this for all of New Mexico. For every New Mexican. In everything we do, we are New Mexico United. Curse the supporters section nice and loud. I would not want to be the goalkeeper for Cardiff City tonight. No, certainly not. Not any night. The curse always does such a great job, and, and that's one of the fun parts of any United match if you go to one with the curse on one side with the opposing goalie. Cody Mizell, when he normally plays in net, kind of playing up to the crowd on the other end. It's, it's part of the whole experience here for New Mexico United as everybody is on the field right now getting introduced. It's, uh, it's go time, Adam. Well, you might hear Lucas Cash, who's been a friend of the program here on ESPN Radio and also streaming uh, with United. He's announcing the starting lineup right now. We just went over that with you tonight. A little bit different for United. We expect to see a lot of different faces. But right now, we will now pause for the Welsh National Anthem from Wales.
that was a pleasant surprise. Although, you know, it only fit in. Certainly, I mean, you know, what the NHL and what teams in Canada will play about the Midwest team in the United States will play about play about more nationally to make candidates as well. So it's a way it was a nice courtesy to the visitors. We'll have the national anthem here in just a second. Again, if you're just joining us, glad you can. Adam Neal along with Sam Hauser. It's a live broadcast for New Mexico United as they take on Cardiff FC in just a moment. But here is the American National Anthem. the backup singer for the Empress of Soul, Gladys Knight. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and the bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so opinion possible that's unbiased right totally unbiased I mean the first time I saw him before long before we even knew that we that 1017 the team was gonna have a partnership with New Mexico United I said to myself those are the prettiest soccer kits I've ever seen well again New Mexico United they sit at ninth in the Western Conference table of the USL Championship League this though a friendly tonight against a foe that they've never seen. I talked about Minnesota United, how good they were. You're going to see talent that maybe New Mexico fans have never seen live in front of them here in Cardiff FC as they'll be traveling left to right, Cardiff. They're the Bluebirds, by the way. Actually, they're going to switch fields here. Both teams have switched now, and so Cardiff City in their own uniforms will head on the right side. They'll be attacking right to left, and New Mexico United left to right as both teams will huddle up and get their last words of encouragement. This place, though, is fired up. Yeah, this is going to be a great atmosphere here for United. Hopefully the fans and the team can take this in. I mean, certainly it gets louder at Isotopes Park, and, and it's a, a great atmosphere in there. But this is a, a unique treat for fans uh, to just to see United play on a soccer pitch here in Albuquerque. It, everybody's ready to go. So are we. And, and you talk about uh, Minnesota United, that comparison. Why one of the keys to the game tonight is to just take this in and enjoy it. Just uh, appreciate the level of soccer that we're going to see tonight. It's actually really big. And so again, right to left, 
Cardiff City, the Bluebirds. They'll start it off here. The first 45 as we go to 90 with stoppage time in front of us. And the would have become famous across New Mexico. Oh, somos Unidos. We're underway. As Cardiff City with it for the right wing. It's Mandoz Luang. All the way back. Morrison will swing it out. Jethrich, the goalie who just has to get rid of it towards half field. Estrada will bring it down, getting a nod today. And Manny put in the outside back. He'll push one all the way down the line and out of play for a throw in for Cardiff. So Cardiff in their own territory. I'll toss it. It'll be interesting to see what the pace of play is immediately on both sides. Yeah, Cardiff uh, respecting how well New Mexico United is on defense. And that was one of the keys. You know, they lost 1-0 at Fresno last weekend, but that was one of the better defensive showings that we saw from New Mexico United. And so looking for a little bit more of that here tonight as well. Juan Pablo Guzman checking in the midfield for United. will turn on the right foot. Rashid Tete has got to go all the way back. And Tete under duress, able to hold on to it out to Bury. We haven't said that name actually at all on the radio if you've been listening all year. Or Making more United history. Ben Bury, it's all, it's been Cody Mizell. He'll get the night off that I will earn. Uh, a high ball deep to Kavon Freighter all the way to the box in the end line. Can he save it? The Jamaican can, the 25 year old who's on top of the USL Championship League scoring at it, tapped out of play for a corner kick. This corner kick brought to you by the this Cinnamon United Cafe. Cinnamon so United immediately with attack. Kevon Freider with 11 goals. He has been brilliant and also in the U.S. Open Cup had three goals. Did not play against Minnesota United. Yeah, he can score from anywhere on the pitch and very aggressive, very physical and a good job there running down that ball for us in the corner. The fans will stomp on the metal bleachers here. You'll hear the roar as Weehan sends it across a flick on by Estrada and it's still loose inside the box and finally cleared away. Not all the way though. In the box is loose. A cut. Oh! United does so well on the corner kicks. Very tactical team. Reading the ball well in the box like that. They've done that all season. And for whatever reason, Cardiff City not able to, uh, Cardiff City FC not able to clear it. But again, that's what New Mexico United does so well. They find their man so well off of that initial corner kick. Been doing it all season. And it results in one in the first goal here for New Mexico United. What a start. United, they're poised to have big starts, aren't they? And you're right, Ken Akamatsu inside the box. He was able to get a deflection from Cardiff, but not cleared all the way. And the pass on the inside went right to him. He bent it in beautifully. And it's 1-0 United, the goal officially in the second minute as we start here. A high kickoff is headed out of play by United in a corner coming for Cardiff. United just so poised in the box when all those bodies start piling up in there, they don't get phased at all. They know exactly what they need to be doing and make it happen there with the goal. So Cardiff with a corner kick out of the right wing will in swing it on the left foot. High curling back six, it's flicked on and flicked away towards the left wing. Good touch by Juan Pablo Guzman to deflect it out of play, and it's a throw into the attacking third now. Stepping up, it's Joe Bennett. Out to Murphy on the wing. Murphy so dangerous on the wing. Bennett, little touch inside the midfield. Now the corner of the 18, turning, and a great job defensively. That was Tony Soler in the midfield who gets the nod tonight, and a quick counter the other way. Akamatsu, a slide coming in straight away. I believe it was Reed and a quick counter. Reed in the corner of the 18 has a right footed shot that sails just wide. Didn't get all of it, Reed. Mixed between a shot and a, and a centering pass there, but either way, a little bit too wide and a goal kick here for United. If you're just joining us, glad you can. In the fourth minute, Adam Deal, Sam Hauser. We're live on local radio and on your app, ESPN Radio 1017, the team, and also streaming. Looks like Cardiff already uh, getting ready to make the first sub. Already up and, and going. We'll see if there's a, an early movement for Cardiff City. High goal kick from Bury. We hand chases. Etheridge is dangerous. Touch has to get rid of it. Gonna be 
kept in play. That's well done, wasn't it? On the outside by Bennett and Murphy able to hold on to it, and he was dumped. And I believe there's going to be a foul called. Aggressive on top of him was Padilla, and Murphy goes down, so a free kick coming. Now they're on half of the field for Cardiff. They trail it, though, to United 1-0. Kevon Frader wanted a free kick there off of the, the goal kick there, or wanted a, a penalty called, but nothing doing there for United, and instead it'll go Cardiff's way. So Etheridge will stand over it for Cardiff, gonna boot it deep, and Bury has to come to the edge of his box. He's come out too far. It was tipped and flicked backwards. Cardiff will try to hold on to it. Second ball was won by Padilla, and Bennett will bring it all the way back to Etheridge for Cardiff in their own territory. Fifth minute, 1-0, United on top. Etheridge will send it high. I love the efficiency here for New Mexico. United, one shot, one goal. Well, we're able to watch again the, the goal that happened just a moment ago. And United keeping the corner kick, low line drive allows them to control it right away quickly and get set up on the play. Ken Akamatsu cuts it back, he was right Level with the PK spot, and if you're listening on the radio, but a little bit more on the right wing, about 12 yards out, and he curled it in on the left foot. Beautiful. 1 0 to score. A free kick right at midfield on the right wing, right to left for Cardiff in the sixth minute. Glad you could join us, Adam Deal, Sam Hauser. We're having some fun. Flick on into the box. Back heel back to Ward. It was dispossessed. Padilla trying to get on top of it. Bennett in a combination. Reed, he'll get it back on the wing near the 18, takes it to the end line. Solaire wins the tackle for United. Padilla can't get rid of it, but it's right to Padilla. He had it poked away from him from Bennett. And now Padilla, Guzman, good fake by Estrada, but he dribbled right out of play and a throw in in the attacking third now for Cardiff. What a job so far here tonight that Solaire has done on defense. Really, United as a whole putting a lot of pressure on Cardiff, but Solaire tonight a couple of times here coming up big in these early minutes. Uh, clearing the ball away, getting a stop for United, trying to get it back in their possession. Bennett, the left back for Cardiff, pushing high. Turning inside that midfield is Reed. Bobby Reed so efficient in attacking, whips the ball in, it's deflected away by Schmidt. Now on the far side, Cardiff deflected out of play. I think Mendez couldn't hold on to it. A bad touch, and it's United's throw in in their own half. Checking is. Prater, he'll get a 1-2 right back in the midfield, and he goes all the way back to Rashid Tete. Guzman on a 1-2 back to Tete in their own territory. United with the lead, 1-0 on top of Cardiff FC. Good check by Chris Weehan as Estrada will hold it and back it out now to Tete. Here's Estrada again, and Bennett comes in, keeps it in play nicely with a good piece of skill. It was tipped away. Weehan trying to scramble for it. Now it's Reed, and it's out of bounds for a throw-in for Cardiff near midfield. Ball bouncing here tonight on this grass, and Cardiff's having a much harder time trying to control the ball. It's an advantage for United right now. Eighth minute here, and it's 1-0. United on top. Guzman flicks it to himself for the midfield, and off of Reed's shoe. Out of play for a throw for United on the near side. Crowd still filing in here in the early minutes. Here in the eighth minute, 1-0, Cardiff back in their own territory, Sean Morrison. Bennett gets wide, opens up some space. It's a great check by Ward, and he's able to turn at a Cardiff, excuse me, United territory. Kick out wide. Mendes cuts it inside of the attacking third, tries to combine, it was taken away. Last moment by Soler. Here's Estrada in the midfield, tries to hand it off back to Soler, and he gave it right back. There's some room for Folks. Folks takes a deflection off Estrada the far side and a throw in coming for Cardiff. It's one of the first times here tonight we've seen Cardiff use the entire field. They're trying to spread out this United defense a little bit more, trying to find some kind of lane to get a shot on goal. So a throw in on the far right wing. And Cardiff still looking for their first shot on goal and Kind of see him uh, trying to use the far side of the field, getting some instructions here from the bench. This ninth minute, it's a special song. United actually singing right now. And tragically, Emilio Sala has passed away from Cardiff. And so you see that you're watching on the stream, the support here from the United fans. And obviously, you never want to hear that. But it's good to see 
Yep, you're playing, you want to win, but the respect on both sides is lovely, and, and the game is bigger, right? Absolutely, and that's been a theme here for United all season, just a lot of respect from other teams for what they're doing, and United returning the returning the respect as well, and a, a great a great showing here. The, uh, the supporters here with, with uh, signs and posters in the crowd uh, and, uh, showing, their, uh, showing their respect for Cardiff. So free kick coming here for Sean Morrison. And near midfield, going to send one all the way into the box. And Bury never had a challenge. In his own six-yard box, able to grab it, no problems, as he pulls it in. It's 1-0 in the 10th minute. New Mexico United on top. Cannot come out to the difference. Glad you could join us here. ESPN Radio 101.7, the team. And also streaming live, New Mexico United's YouTube page. Rashid Tete back in his own territory. will send it left to right up high. Looking for Gavon Quater. Morrison won the first, but the second one to Juan Pablo. Here's Juan Pablo Guzman and a 1-2 with Weehan in the midfield. And it was finally taken away. It was poked away by Volks and sent out of play for United. Throw in at midfield on the right wing. Ball was lost by Juan Pablo Guzman. And able to turn is Joe Rawls. We haven't mentioned his name a lot. We'll have... A lot to do. He'll be busy for Cardiff in the midfield. All the way on the outside. Peltier. Now to Rawls. He'll switch it to the near side. A lot of room for Bennett. Oh, and that got away. The pass. And out of play. And again, uh, Cardiff just trying to get into a flow of the season here right now. They played their exhibition match, their friendly at San Antonio over the weekend. Now here for United. This is a, a new season for them. And so... She's trying to get settled in here, and it's it's pretty evident early on which side has played more soccer than the other so far. Watch as Bury sends it to Juan Pablo Guzman. Watch some of the English Premier League teams talking about coming to North America and trying to get ready for their season. It's brutal. I mean, these guys are going through sprints. you got to get into condition. Play 90 minutes, it's not easy. United on top here, 1-0 on the 12th. It's Justin Smith, the center back, will combine on the outside. Playing That's 90 minutes in Albuquerque will get you good in condition. I'll tell, I'll tell you, man. Going up the stairs to get to the press box got me conditioned for the day. A mile high in altitude and obviously as hot as it's been, the dry heat here. Estrada will combine with Tete in his own backfield. Goes to the midfield to Juan Pablo Guzman, who was always so busy, up tight on him. I believe it was Ward. Danny Ward maybe a bit too aggressive, or excuse me, that was actually Bobby Reed. So Prater's got some room in the midfield as he crosses midfield to the outside. He'll combine with Josh Suggs, who loves to push in, loves to create some room on the outside for his mids like Akamatsu, who's got the goal tonight. Justin Smith, Padilla, chipped it to really nobody in a bad touch as Cardiff on top of it, all the way back to their goalie. The that's such, such a difference for New Mexico United when the midfielders are attacking, when they're smart with the ball, when they're when they know what their game plan is. It makes such a difference for this team. Bad touch, Ward makes a cut of the left foot inside near the 18 and had it poked away by Justin Smith last moments. Bury's gonna get rid of it. Solaire takes it off the chest. It was headed away by Bennett. Here comes Cardiff on the left wing attacking hard, going strong as Murphy and he goes down. It was poked away. Padilla, last second, I think he got in late says the official. And so a free kick coming just outside on the left wing of the 18. Very dangerous there for New Mexico United. A hair outside of the 18-yard box, like you said. Fortunate, if, if there's any silver lining here for United, this is a pretty bad angle that Cardiff's going to have to take on this free kick. But anytime you get in tight like that with a, a new goalkeeper here for United and, and Barry, it's going to be interesting. An ideal spot here now, Cardiff. Murphy is going to whip it in on the in swing on a right foot. Or is it going to be Rawls on the left foot? Rawls puts his hand up. He's going to outswing it far post. It's headed back into the middle of the box. It's still loose. Appealing for a penalty is Cardiff. They're not going to get it. Still loose, though, as Padilla is able to get rid of it and quickly out to Weehan on the near side wing. Left to right, United trying to attack. Guzman back to Padilla, and again he was late, and Padilla's going to be called, and he has been late. It's a foul. A foul's a foul on Manny Padilla, and another free kick coming now for Cardiff. Yeah, not happy about that one, though. He might just be a little bit frustrated with himself late to the ball. While Pablo Guzman maybe not so solid on his touch, back to Padilla. He didn't do him any favors, but another free kick coming here on the left wing. 
And again, it's Rawls or Murphy. Left to right foot to Pence. Rawls last time went back post. Murphy, does he want to swing it in for the right foot this time? And it looks like he might. Murphy on top of it. He'll sail it in. It curls and dips. And it did everything it was supposed to do, but nobody on the end of it for Cardiff. And it's out of play for a goal kick. A little bit better ball that time. Last time just sent it way too far. That time, if somebody's in that spot, that's a beautiful opportunity for a header and probably a, a game-tying goal, but just kicked it where none of his teammates were and a break for United. Dancing in the 15th minute, it is 1-0. United on top. Adam Deal along with Sam Hauser having some fun here at the University of Mexico soccer complex and track and field. And a house that has grown packed close to 7,000 expected tonight. We'll get the official number for you. High, far goal kick from Bury, And it's one in the midfield now by Cardiff. Sent high to Ward. He's fought off by Tete. He was pushed off by Ward, who fires one at the goal. And Ward is going to be called. And a little bit too aggressive as Tete had position. And Ward clearly got a hand on the back there. Yeah, it was a clear push off there. Good call. And ball comes back to United. Quick start to the outside. It's Suggs who has been quiet. Josh Suggs was very busy against Minnesota United in the second half. High is Akamatsu on the left wing, and he tried to put Suggs through. It was a good look, and it was deflected last moment by Peltier. And a quick start now for United at attacking third for Cardiff. And the midfield checking. It's David Estrada. Soler on top of it again, Tony Soler. Hasn't had a lot of moments as of late. Was poked away from David Estrada a quick counter. Here comes Bobby Reed right to left. And Reed was dumped. That's not a bad foul. It stops the counterattack, stops the play. As long as a card isn't shown and Kavon knows it. And so United will try to get back into place. Yeah, Kavon knows he's got to be careful. He's not one that can necessarily get away with that as much as maybe some other guys on the team. But he's never going to change who he is, his role, and twice so fun to watch. 17th minute, 1-0, United on top. Crossfield ball, the near side wing, and it was won by Reed. Young will push it back down, excuse me, Ward, I apologize. Bennett touches, looking for Murphy. It was poked away. And a restart now for Cardiff, back in their own territory. Ken Akamatsu, a gorgeous curling goal. The difference, and that was quick. It was in the second minute of the game. United, they strike fast sometimes. A good piece of skill by Akamatsu on the outside as he held off a defender nicely, and he'll draw the foul. And a free kick coming at midfield now for United. It's been one of the themes of the season, and that's why United literally got off to the fast start that they did, jumping up to first place in the Western Conference table because they don't waste time out of the gate. They're aggressive early. Maybe they catch teams before they're ready, before they're really settled into these matches. And doing that again here tonight against Cardiff as the offside flag comes up. So let's should see. Be, should be a free kick here for Cardiff or, or if they're just throw it in. They're going to say throw in. Let's play continued might have been 18th minute 1-0 the score glad you could be here now the other side of that conversation for United still the, that uh, that one shot on goal that resulted in a goal still the only uh, shot on goal here so far in the matches we're in the 18th minute throw in for Cardiff up high for Ward who had it deflected right back to him in the midfield and that was stolen away nicely by Tony Soler he doesn't have numbers, so he has to back it out near midfield as he was dumped, but it was dumped legally, says the official. Coming in a strong was Joe Rawls, and that's just a true strong tackle. Combination of the midfield for Cardiff gets him out of danger, and they'll switch throughout the back. All the way to Bennett in the near side, right to left. Here comes Cardiff, the Bluebirds. They trail it 1-0. United on top of the 19th minute. Bennett will control it. Swung all the way around. And by now, you're probably familiar with our magic minute. Our state was founded in 19. And back around and for Cardiff. Back and forth the they go. Bennett will hold on to it on the left wing. It was deflected by Chris Weehan. Traditional, by the way, Sam, in New Mexico United, in their short tradition, albeit, that in the 19th minute, 1918, New Mexico founded 
New Mexico will get loud and they'll cheer for the entire minute. You'll see that coming here in just a moment as we get ready to enter the 20th minute. So one in the midfield and a little bit shaky on both sides. Finally, it's Cardiff on top of it. Here's Bennett to the outside, Murphy. Murphy on the right foot will hold on to it. Bennett does want to swing it in. Crowd will get up. Back into Murphy. Swings it across the six, and it shells. Nobody was there. It was a great ball. Murphy went screaming in, and then he had a one-two with Ward. It was Ward who actually put it across the box. You see again, if you're watching, we just saw some very dangerous ball. Yeah, beautiful ball there by Murphy. And again, that's another incident, uh, another case here for United, where they're lucky that uh, the, the teammate wasn't in the right spot. Crowd will get nice and loud here. We end the outside of the attacking third to Estrada. In the midfield, Soler. Now Hughes on top of it, backs it out to half field. It's Schmidt on top of it. We enter the 21st minute. United, they lead it 1-0. Soler, now Schmidt. Sends it to the left wing. Kavon Freider checking deep the forward. We'll back it all the way out to Rashid Tete. As the crowd for an entire minute have been up here. And they're enjoying a lead right now. This, this, free, this friendly is a good opportunity here for United to take this in as a learning moment. That After you get that first goal, it's great. You go up 1-0, keep staying aggressive, try to make it 2-3-0. And, no, and that's because that's been... One of the problems we've seen in league play is that they'll get that lead and not able to hold on to it over the course of 90 minutes. So for United to get aggressive here in the back half of this well, I don't think Troy Lassane and New Mexico United have the idea of holding on to a 1-0 lead the no, entire game. No, certainly not. It is going to be a lot of different players that we'll see tonight, probably on both sides in this game, could change drastically as a high ball sent by Cardiff out of play. And a goal kick coming here for New Mexico United. Even here at the University of New Mexico soccer complex, a gorgeous atmosphere that United provide, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. You get, we got the sun going down behind the mountains across the way. You got the you got an intimate atmosphere here. The whole this whole side of the bleachers full. Everything behind the nets as well. This was one of the hottest tickets in town. Like every home match for United, and home side did not disappoint. Here's a good one-two to the outside and. Josh Suggs combined to the midfield. Here comes United. They're attacking left to right. Suggs again. A little touch to Weehan. Freighter. He'll back it out. Freighter will turn. He's got a lot of room. He'll send it to the left wing in the corner of the 18. It's Akamatsu. Akamatsu one on one. Stops it in the corner of the 18 of the right foot and pauses. In the 22nd minute, United attacking. So Lair, a little touch on the inside. Akamatsu still on under the right foot at the top of the 18. And he just lost his bounce. I don't know if he was shooting. He slipped right on the 18. And it's dispossessed. Here comes Cardiff the other way. Juan Pablo, though, with a nice tackle in the midfield. And here comes Freighter. Is he going to send it in? No, it was Estrada, excuse me. And it was a bad ball. And it was sent away by Rawls. As he'll get rid of it on the left foot up high, checking his Ward. Ward quickly will combine. And here comes Reed. Reed with a 1-2. And it was too much in front. There's the back heel by Tete. Well, it works. Padilla to Bury, and he'll get rid of it. The goalie for United out of danger, and the applause of the crowd for United will grow. one nothing. Akamatsu, he could have made it 2 nothing just a moment ago. Yeah, he had a clean lane to shoot the ball, just lost his footing. Tete wins the first head. Estrada... Had it deflected away. And for those of you on the radio, we'll get the replay for you in a moment. Those of you on the radio who couldn't see it, I'll tell you, Akamatsu is cutting inside. 18, and what is going on here, Sam? There's a stoppage in play. Well, the ball went into the stands, and I think we're trying to just get it sorted out where exactly it went. Although I'm hearing what might be a hydration break. Okay, so the stoppage in play here in the 24th minute. And that's, you're all over it, Sam. This is why you're here. Put me in check. It's just hydration break. Wonder why all the teams were coming off the field. It was Cardiff making their way up. Look, it is 90 degrees. It's blistering heat. It's a mile high in altitude. I know Cardiff is not going to be used to this. New Mexico United probably not even used to it as they've been away from home for so long. So it is a hydration break. Yeah, we'll I mean, it's it still right not here, obviously. Still not fun. I mean, it was 100 degrees when our broadcast started at 7. 
And even still now, it's not cool out by any stretch of the imagination. So I know you guys saw this at FC Dallas in the Open Cup run, and uh, good to see it here, just making sure that every that's a, certainly the most important thing is player safety in this extreme heat. And so good to see a hydration break. We're going to well, power through, though. No, we're powering. Well, do you need a hydration break, Sam? I'm good. You're okay? I'm, I've, I talk all day. <laughs> I've been training for this for a long Whoa. time. For those of you on the stream, you can take another look as Ken Akamatsu, excuse me, has it 1-0 in the second minute for United. If you're just joining us, glad you can. Adam Deal along with Sam Hauser here on ESPN Radio 101.7, the team, your flagship station for United Soccer against Cardiff City tonight in this friendly. Also, we're streaming live from across the, across the pond in Wales and on the New Mexico United YouTube page. We pause in the 24th minute for a quick hydration break. Because extreme heat here. And both teams will make their way back onto the pitch. And we know we're setting up all day. We know how hot it is out there. Ken Akamatsu, the difference so far on a corner kick, and United have been so dangerous on free kicks and set pieces throughout the year. No, they really have, and, and they've been uh, playing They've been playing uh, good ball here tonight, good soccer so far. Uh, just uh, much better control of the ball using the home field to their advantage compared to compared to Cardiff. Uh, Cardiff's still getting a little bit adjusted here as we're just about ready to get going from this hydration break. So Padilla will have a throw in on the near side. Right wing, left to right, United. And we're back into play. And that's going to be added into stoppage time. We'll see how much, though, as Kavon Freider will try to hold it up high. Nice move by Estrada to set himself free. Cutting in is Kavon Freider. And he forced a throw in in the attacking third for United. On top, 1 0. 26th minute. Freider holds onto it to Estrada. Now Padilla, can he whip one in? Now he'll back it out, trying to combine with Weehan, able to turn. Nice move by Weehan. Good piece of skill to keep possession. Solaire, his only play is to back it out to Smith, and he'll switch the pace of play as Smith will step up. The big center back makes his way. Smith with some room to the outside. It's Akamatsu, the goal scorer, the difference so far. Back to Smith in the attacking third and a 1 2 with Juan Pablo Guzman. Smith holds it on the left foot all the way back to Ben Bury, who holds it at the top of the 18, dead center. Smith will open up wide on the left wing and get it back. Yeah, and so United will reset. Nothing doing on that possession, but such a great move from Kevon Freider. you got to love watching him on the throw, and he's just holding the defender at arm's length, just being out there being Kevon Freider. High ball to Freider, and you saw we had a nice touch to Freider. Now combining up high is Akamatsu. Estrada on the near side wing, and United have held possession for a little bit here. Turning is Guzman back to Tete in their own half of the field. New Mexico United, they're leading it 1-0. United going to reset again here, just... Trying to figure out what their next move's going to be. They've found holes in this Cardiff defense, but trying to be a little bit methodical here. They still hold on possession, by the way, which has been the longest piece of possession by either side. Juan Pablo Guzman dancing in his own territory. Rashid Tete opens up high. He'll get out for some space for Estrada. Back to Tete on the wing. And Tete all the way back to the goalie, Ben Bury, right on the end line, by the way. And his own 18 will dance on top of it. Cardiff will press high. Bury will have to get rid of it. Looking high to Solaire. Second ball, it's loose. And Reed's on top of it. Bobby Reed, a lot of room to turn. They're looking on a through ball, and it's too far in front. Looking for Mendez. And again there for Cardiff. They, they're putting in good setup passes, but just leading their guys a little bit too far. But another great opportunity there for Cardiff. A beautiful night. Here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The University of New Mexico soccer field and track and field complex. Bure will send a goal kick left to right here. Two more Cardiff players getting up and stretching. 
as you know in the 29th minute it, it, there's unlimited substitutions from in this game so getting to be about that time if there is going to be one here soon offside oh very close on that one but that was offside for New Mexico United David Estrada was high and in, in front of it he was able to pull it in before it went out of play but the flag did come up it is offsides and a free kick now coming for Cardiff So Etheridge will send it high and deep towards the 18, and it's won by Justin Schmidt. The local from Volcano Vista High School, by the way, here in Albuquerque, he played at the University of Washington. It was a Husky. He's had a very successful career and having a brilliant season, Justin Schmidt is. And this is the home field, by the way, for Chris Weehan, played yeah. his college career here. Also, Devin Sandoval. We find him off the bench, had a luxurious career, winning a state championship even in high school on this field. One of the great stories here for New Mexico United is bringing in a lot of great soccer talent, but also making sure that you bring in some local guys as well and mixing it too, uh, local talent, very good soccer players as well. It's it's made it's been part of the story here for United so far this season. Neil Etheridge on a high through ball will take over for Cardiff and he'll send a ball deep into United territory and the first ball is one and it was one nicely to read can he turn on the 18 and he'll dish it back to Bennett in left wing Bennett's gonna swing it in far post it's dangerous and it's deflected still in play Bury comes to punch it it's still loose and Solaire finally gets a head on top of it to send it to the right wing but not out of danger yet as Cardiff have it what a play by Peltier as he sends one in he passed it right around Suggs on the outside but then it was handled to pass on the inside by Bury. Yeah, that's just a matter of inexperience there for Bury to try to punch that ball rather than getting two hands on it. He hasn't but had a lot of time this year. No, or no, any time. No, and that's a matter of, of inexperience, but he's handled it well. He's He's been aggressive, which if we're playing a friendly, you like to see that for a guy getting his first action of the season. He's trying to make the most of it, and, and he's, kept, he's coming along here. He's keeping the zero on the scoreboard so far. Bury finally holds onto it and will send it high. It's headed away. Third ball now falls in the lap of Padilla, and it was stolen at a late call now. And I believe it's Rawls on the ground. Yeah, Rawls, that was I think it was late. late heavy call. collision. Don't forget halftime. Tyler Ortega, I have an interview for you. visit Albuquerque and their campaign. Proud supporters of tonight's broadcast. Glad you could join us if you just are here on ESPN 101.7 The Team. Adam Deal, Sam Hauser also streaming live. In the 32nd minute, it's New Mexico United 1, Cardiff City 0. Ken Akamatsu in the second minute. So Bennett after the free kick finally comes, we'll pass it back to Etheridge and we'll send it deep to the corner of the 18. Loose ball, second ball, falls in the lap of Estrada. We handed to get back on sides. No, he didn't, and if not, he was on. Chasing back was Rawls. We hand might have been a hair off. He tried to get back on sides in time. Yeah, he really was trying. He was watching that ball in the air, looking at his feet, looking at the defender, looking at the line, looking at the referee, doing everything he possibly could but very close on that one. Uh, Chris Weehan not happy, United supporters not happy, but that's the call that we get. And by the way, that's the kind of thing you love to see in a, in a friendly. Etheridge a couple strides shy of the midfield line. Well, a high ball sent away after the free kick and Weehan will chase. It's back to Etheridge. Etheridge will send it again. Very direct so far, Carter, for the ball falls in the line, but it was tipped away with the six yard box. Reed could have made it 1-1, one, one, and a great save by Bury. What a fantastic job. So Bury saves the goal, he prevents the goal. That's brought to you by Preventive Pest Control. Makes ants, mice, bugs, and other pests and weeds go away. It's as simple as that. What a job by the goalie, Ben Bury. Yeah, absolutely. A great job by by, uh, by the keeper there, by Bury, especially because that one was deflected by a defender in front of him. He had to read that one off the deflection. 
Corner is high and deep in the six-yard box, and Bury will come out and make the grab, and to the delight of the United Faithful here. 6,000, close to 7,000, they'll cheer for him. As this goal kick will fly north towards midfield. Still 1-0 United on top in the 34th minute. Great job by, by Bury there. Is that one another one? Another another long pass for Cardiff City leading the man too far. Ball comes back to New Mexico United. Still uh, Cardiff City still having a little bit of trouble with that, just lining up these long passes. So a throw in for United on the near side, left to right, they attack in the 35th minute. Solaire heads it forward, fighting for it now as Kavon Freider was shielded nicely out of bounds, and Cardiff will have a throw in coming near midfield. Next opponent at home here for New Mexico United. It's going to be their true rival now. El Paso Locomotive, who, by the way, they're high up on the table in the Western Conference. Should be a sellout. you got to get your tickets now, by the way. Absolutely. Back at the lab at Isotopes Park. Late call as Rawls went down. Does he want a fast start? Yes, he does. To the outside. It's now Mendez, who has come over to the left wing, and he's switched, by the way, with Josh Murphy, who's on the right side. Tried to get around defender and just kicked it straight to the end line, out of bounds, and a goal kick coming here for New Mexico United. Surprised to see how that ended with the ball just going right off his foot. And I don't know if it was supposed to be a pass or what, but it's a break for United, and they'll get a goal kick. Beery taking his sweet old time. Beery will send it deep. It was chested. It was gorgeous. You taken, by the way. Right to Etheridge off the chest. You can make a grab off of a volley direct like that from the goalie. And Etheridge will, and he'll punt one right back, left or right to left, deep into United territory. Padilla, can he keep it in play? No, what a touch by Bennett, showing off some skills. The outside back, I thought, have been brilliant so far. And a deflection off of United for a throw in and the attacking third now for Cardiff. Here in the near left wing. It's 1-0. Entering the 37th minute. But United defending these throw-ins very well so far. And even on the on the inner third here with Cardiff, uh, when they've been close to the box, United's defended it really well. And that's a, a crucial evolution here to this season if they can keep that up. Volks a throw-in and United appealing for a handball. The throw in by Volks gets all the way into the PK spot. That has really given United trouble this season, and this time it was a handball not by United, but by Cardiff. And so a free kick coming for United in their own box as they lead it. It's Bury. Does he want to play quick? He does to Schmidt in the corner of his own 18. A high ball to the far wing, pushing high. Very surprising here, Adam, as we're coming up on the 38th minute. And one of the things we expected to see in this match, we haven't seen yet, is substitutions. <laughs> I'm shocked, too, to be honest. And I'm sure you'll see a lot of change at halftime on both sides. Is Cardiff going to go high, looking for Reed? Could he pull it in? It's Padilla wins the first head, but Bennett's on top of it, a left wing. Nice Cruyff to set it back. And Cardiff on the attack here. Here's Mendez, trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Padilla. Cuts it. He's going to swing it inside. It's a gorgeous ball by Mendez. It's off the post. It's still loose. And diving in with Soler to save the day to Bury. Oh, that bounced right in front of the six. And I believe it was Reed took it off the post. What a job Soler has done here tonight. He has been everywhere on defense, anywhere around the ball. And you couldn't ask for a better clean tackle in the box to prevent a goal. Weehan will check high across midfield. He'll get it back into the midfield to Josh Suggs. On the outside now, it's Soler who pushes wide. And Smith gives it in the midfield to Padilla who tucks in. Turning is Guzman. It's too far in front for Weehan. It's out of play right at midfield to the right wing. And we get another look of it. Look at this view. Right from behind the net. And yeah, that one just missing. Those of you who can't off see. Off the post. A great production here, Provia Networks. I'll tap the shoulders of my crew, Sam. Got the GoPro set up in the back. We were able to see a good angle. And That's right. Those of you at home who couldn't see it, it's. 
clicked right off the woodwork. Turning, some room on the left foot. Spury diving and just missing. Deep, this was Rawls who got a hold of it. He was deep, about 32 yards out, and he would have beat Bury. He had some room. Just skips past the far post, and United dodge another bullet. So Cardiff have really come out here, trailing at 1-0, though United on top. And the 39th minute, yeah, and I would fully expect to see more of that here from Cardiff City as the match goes along. They know that there's not much room to work when they get inside the box, so try to take some more shots from a little bit further out, hope for a lucky bounce. 50-50 ball, Juan Pablo won the first but not the second. Mendez will chip it up and that's a great play by Ward. Reed was checking, Juan Pablo Guzman goes down. It was deflected inside the 18 and out of play and a throw in coming. And well, a good job there by Juan Pablo Guzman. He's, he slid just to get that ball out of danger, not looking for a foul, just great job there to clear it away and give United a chance to settle back in on defense. Cardiff with it, and Rawls had it for a moment. It was deflected away. You're starting to see the technical ability of Cardiff strengthen here, and you see why uh, they're so high, such a, a prestigious club across the pond. It's going to be difficult for United to hang in as time wears on. Yeah, it really is. They're going to start to put on a, a show in the second half. It looks like they're really getting into a groove in this match now and looking more like the Cardiff City we expected to see. Rawls dancing on top of it. True midfielder who go box to box. Mendez will switch the pace of play. Cardiff right to left there on top of it. Some room on the outside for Murphy who tries to cut it. Out for a goal kick, so United Live to fight another day, but it's attack after attack right now. Yeah, that one's sailing over the net, and again, that, that's going to be the start to be the game plan here for Cardiff, especially once we get into the second half. They're going to start taking those uh, taking those long shots, try to sail one over Beery, try to get one around them, whatever they can. That's where their opportunities are. 41st minute, one nothing. United on top. They have possession of their own half. High ball looking for Akamatsu, going to get on the end of it. It was deflected out of play. It was Volks who was chasing back, and a throw in in Bluebird territory for United. The lights are on here at the UNM Soccer Complex. Beautiful night. Quick one, two. Freighter will collect again at the corner of the 18 and the far side. The left wing, a little step over. Now Freighter's got a step. Freighter on top of an end line. Freighter's going to send it back on a Bangu, and it was tipped out of play for a corner. He created something out of nothing. He used a step over, some separation. He used his speed and power. And here comes a Cinnamon Cafe corner kick. Cinnamon Cafe, they offer fresh selection of breakfast and lunch from Carnia Nevada Omelets to their signature French toast. Two locations at Shops in Mountain Run and Knob Hill Shopping Center. Center Cinnamon Cafe. On the far side of the field, Weehan will send one in with a 1-0 lead for United. Weehan on the right foot will curl it, looking back post. Coming out as Etheridge, he tipped it to himself, and he'll now try to start a counter, and he does high. Looking for Reed, what a control by Reed. And a through ball inside the box. It was tipped away. Bury, did he get a hand on Cardiff's foot, appealing for a penalty kick? They're not going to get it. It was close. I'll tell you what. Bury might have got a glove on it. We'll take another look from our angle. And oh. I think it's a good no call. I don't know. I, I kind of go the other way. I think Do he's you? got a legitimate case there. He got foot, not ball. Talking about Bury. Uh, Cardiff yeah. City's got a legitimate beef there. We'll agree to disagree. Well, you at home who is watching the stream, you got to see it. You could judge for yourself. But we'll show you again. Those of you listening, it was very close. Sliding was Bury. I believe it was Murphy checking in on a quick one-two from Reed. It was brilliant on a through ball. And United again lived to fight another day. Here's Tete in his own half checking his wee hand, who has looked nice. This one got a little bit away from him, and now Mendez can attack on the left wing. Mendez, he's at the top of the 18, fires, curls, and it hangs over the far corner. He was trying to curl one in, much like Akamatsu did to start the scoring off, and it's out of play for a goal kick here in the 44th minute. So we're going to got to look at the replay again here. I think you're right. After another look in slow-mo, Ben Bury was late just a touch 
late, and that's all it takes. And Murphy took Ben Bury's glove and went down, and it probably should have been a penalty for Cardiff after another look. Good eye, Sam. I should have trusted your eye for the very beginning. I mean, yeah. A <laughs> couple minutes of stoppage time coming here. I know my sports, minute. Adam. I know you do. Curling ball. Dangerous for a moment. Ward. That's still in play. Murphy's going to send it back in looking for Ward. Same toward, same type of ball. This one bending out. and Now Cardiff on top of it. Bennett on the left wing. A little step over. Mendez tucks it to himself, and Mendez goes down. Padilla, did he get ball? Yes, says the official. And again, Cardiff, they're appealing for another penalty. They're not going to get it. This one close as well. Yeah. Padilla might have been late. Very close on that one again as Cardiff going to try to plead their case. But either way, they'll get a corner kick here. Back to Kevon Frater on the other end. That set up it's beautiful, United, wasn't it? United's corner kick. That's why he's such a unique talent, such a physical presence down there. He can keep, he's so big and strong, he can keep guys at arm's length and try to create that separation, try to make something happen. And it didn't result in anything, but he at least put the pressure on with the corner kick. That's why United wants to keep him on the field. Well, Mendez is down from what we mentioned. Nate Mendez laying, holding his right leg, and he'll be attended to. If you're just joining us, glad you can. ESPN Radio 1017, the team. Adam Deal along with Sam Hauser. It's 1 0. United on top. Cannot come out to in the second minute. Curls went in on the left foot. It's the difference. Now, Cardiff City, they've been knocking on the door since off the post. Maybe a PK call, not called, and officially two minutes added on here as we are into stoppage time of the first half. Mendez will have to step off the field and be welcomed back on the field, but here's a corner kick. Curling far post. It was headed away by Justin Smith. Cardiff will hold on to it. Right to left, the ball sent back into the box, and another header still loose towards the six, headed back towards Bewery. And he's able to hold on to it. Puri didn't have to do much on that one. No, that one coming right to him. I understand there will be at least two minutes and probably yeah. a little bit more now after that last injury stoppage. So Puri, at the top of his 18, will hammer one high, looking for Kavon Freider. Second and third ball bounces to Schmidt. And he's got one, Pablo Guzman, and the officials said that is it for the first half. So a round of applause from the United Faithful, United on top, one nothing. When we return on the stream, we'll have an interview for you with Tyler Ortega and also some highlights of the first half. And also keep it right here on ESPN Radio, 1017, the team. Back in a moment.
Hey, where's Rosh and Justin? I don't know, bro. Yo, this is crazy. Y'all gotta come check this out. Come on, come on. Tyler Ortega here with Tracy Cox, the uh, social media and content specialist with Visit Albuquerque. First off, Tracy, thank you for coming out. What do you think of this so far? Oh my gosh, this is just fantastic. The energy here is just electric. It's just so much fun. I, it, it's a blast. Now, let's get down to business. Tell us a little bit about Albuquerque. So, Albuquerque is really the heart of New Mexico. Uh, the city is nearly 315 years old. Um, we're very centrally located in the state. We're the largest city within the state. And, uh, you know, we're just comp you know, comprised of many different cultures. And uh, I think that's something that really makes us special. We're a tapestry of cultures, traditions. We have incredible art. Um, and we're very diverse. It's, it's really a, a, a one of a kind city. Now, we've got a team here from Wales, um, not England. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying England, but Cardiff are from Wales. So what attracts visitors, especially international visitors, here to Albuquerque? Well, a number of things. Um, I think uh, some of the, the, the top primary things are, of course, our Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, which brings travelers from all over the globe. It is the largest ballooning event in the world. Albuquerque is the hot air balloon capital of the world. Um, of course, there's also the Breaking Bad element to things. You know, people, those Breaking Bad fans love to come visit. But I think one of the things they experience when they come to Albuquerque for Breaking Bad is there's so much more to the city, so much culture, so much art, so much diversity. The cuisine is absolutely incredible. So they really end up discovering so much more about the city. Now, I mean, you touched on a few of those things there. Um, but what are some things that are completely unique to us here in Albuquerque? Oh, well, I mean, there, there's so much. Uh, for one, we are becoming a, a very uh, uh, centric city for a lot of film. Television shows are being filmed here. Movies are being filmed here. Um, of course, it all kind of got kicked off with the Breaking Bad thing, but you wouldn't believe all uh, Netflix is moving here. Uh, uh, and NBC Universal is coming here. Um, really something special. Of course, um, uh, I think our cuisine is something very special. We really have our own culture, food culture. New Mexican food is different than Mexican food, and it's not like Tex-Mex. It's, it's really one of a kind, and I think people who visit 
are caught off guard by that, and it's really special. You know, I think with both of us being native New Mexicans, I think we get a little bit offended, you know, when, yes. when people think that, oh, it's just Mexican food. Right. You know? And we put our chili on absolutely everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I know you said it just a couple minutes ago, 315 years old our city is here. What are some fun or, or little known facts about Albuquerque? Um, one of the things that I think a lot of people don't know is that Albuquerque is actually the flamenco capital of the United States. So our flamenco scene is absolutely thriving here. Um, there are performances every single weekend throughout the year. You can see world-class flamenco. It's really, really exceptional. Um, and that adds to you know that, that tapestry of the diverse cultural heritage that makes up the city. Um, I think that's, that's a big part of it. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, another thing, what are a few things coming up this summer that you're excited about? Oh my gosh, there's so much coming up. Just this weekend alone, we have Lavender in the Village. Lavender is one of those incredible things that grows really well here in Albuquerque. And so we have our Lavender in the Village uh, uh, festival where you can explore everything lavender. We have our Route 66 Summer Fest, which is really fun. Albuquerque has the longest stretch, uh, uh, urban stretch of the Route 66 uh, uh, it's the longest urban stretch of it, so we're having that summer fest this Saturday uh, in Knob Hill, which is so much fun, live music, all kinds of cool stuff. Of course, uh, the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta this October, um, all kinds of good stuff. There's always great things happening during the holidays as well. Yeah, absolutely, and, and if you haven't been there to that summer fest, I've been a couple of times, so much fun, and uh, actually New Mexico United just moved in down over to Knob Hill, so That's right. another big thing to check it out. Now, last thing before we uh, wrap it up here, uh, being a lifelong New Mexican and, and Albuquerquean for that matter, what do you like most about living and working here? So, I mean, I could go on and on about all of the incredible things that, that happen in Albuquerque and the weather and the food and everything, the climate, but I think what really makes Albuquerque so special and what has made me absolutely adore it throughout the years is the people. Um, the people who make up this city are just energetic as you can see behind me they don't do anything halfway they you know they do everything with with their full spirit uh, friendliness is key and people are just so kind here um, I think there's a sense of unity within the city and I think that's what has truly kept me in love with Albuquerque throughout the years and continues to just bring people to visit over and over again Tracy Cox, everybody, with Visit Albuquerque, the social media and content specialist. Thank you so much, Tracy. Really appreciate it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've only got a few more minutes here. New Mexico United up at the break, 1-0 by way of a Kenny Akamatsu goal. We'll be back here in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. China as an entrepreneur, uh, building a, a consumer-focused business there, uh, living in Shanghai. I'm Jonathan Crane. I'm CEO of Crane Chips. I started to see some very major uh, growth trends happening in China. I saw an opportunity to launch Crane Shares, an ETF company that would really help U.S. and global investors better understand how to invest in China. Crane Shares in New Mexico United dare to go where others have not.
Where's Roush and Justin? I don't know, bro. Yo, this is crazy. Y'all gotta come check this out. Come on, come on. for the second half. New Mexico United, Cardiff City FC. Glad you could join us on ESPN Radio 1017, the team and our live stream. Adam Deal, Sam Hauser with you. A lot of changes. We'll get to that in just a moment. Cardiff left to right now, if you're listening on the radio, and United right to left. And a lot of changes to talk about as Tommy Madden will take over. And all the substitutions brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. Window and door replacement for your high quality, affordable, energy efficient window replacements. Call 226-9187. Today for your free consultation, that's 226-9187. Tommy Madden's in the midfield as United have it. Uh, Rashid Tete will stay in the back along with Justin Smith, the two center backs. Really, that's it. Sully Muhammad will check into the midfield. Up high now will be uh, Devin Sandoval, the local hero. Josh Goss. That's from another La former Lobo. High School. Yeah, there you go. Another former Lobo. And then from Hawaii, Ryan Williams also in that midfield. And Daniel Bruce from England on the right wing. That's for United. There's a lot of changes on both sides. Surprised this ball staying with Cardiff. I thought that would be uh, out on them. United ball, but throwing here for the guys in orange. So Cardiff in bright orange, trimmed up in blue. Hold on to it, Justin Smith, nice move to be able to pull it down in his own backfield. Matting touches it to Tete and trying to get it to the outside to Ethan Sampson. He couldn't control it, so throw in coming here for Cardiff. 1-0 the score.
So kind of a reset here for Cardiff. Like we talked about at halftime, a lot of momentum over the last 12 to 15 minutes of the first half. Now bringing in some new players, kind of starting over. It's kind of like two 45-minute games. Not a lot of changes, though, for Cardiff. United almost their entire team except for the two center backs. By the way, Bureau, he'll stay in goal. Here's Josh Gosh, you mentioned, also played here at the University of New Mexico. He was taken away in the midfield. Ryan Williams on top of it. He can Push forward, right to left. Here comes United. Ryan Williams gets it to the outside. Goss on top of it on the left wing. Will hold it. He'll pull it back. Does he want to go one-on-one? -on -one? He'll be patient. Coming around is Austin Yearwood. He won't give it to him. He'll go to the midfield instead. And Tommy Madden will turn back to Tete, who's got some time. And turning is now Sandoval, who checks forward. Right to left, United on top of it. They lead it 1-0. We're here in the 89th minute. Stepping forward is Mohamed on the right foot. Curls it. And Etheridge was able to slap it down. Never too dangerous, but for a moment, a real chance for Sully Mohamed. You know, we talk about a lot about Kevon Freider, Santi Moar, certainly the guys with local connections. But Sully Mohamed is really a guy that these fans have seemed to, uh, to grasp onto, and, and for good reason, the way that he plays. Live coverage here from University of New Mexico soccer and track and field complex. Big crowd on hand. As full as this place can get, extra bleachers were brought in to support the faithful for the black and yellow. Throw in on the far side of the field for Ethan Sampson, who's just checked into the game. Here's Sully Muhammad. He'll back it out. And he'll use Justin Smith. He's got a step to it. He had to slide the big guy. He was able to and keep possession at that. And now attacking right to left is Tommy Madden inside to Devin Sandoval on the right foot. And it just misses. It skims the left post. Sandoval had a real opportunity to make it 2 nothing. Instead, a goal kick coming now for Cardiff. Great look there by, by Devin Sandoval. He had the open lane to shoot it. Kind of going against his body a little bit when he took it, but still nearly snuck it in the, the post on the near side. Nearly made it 2 no. Great look there by Devin Sandoval. Just checking in. The local, the hero from El Dorado and here from University of New Mexico. So close, we're talking inches away from 2-0. High goal kick left to right, Cardiff. Reed, can he control it? No, it was tipped away by Goss. And in the midfield, now Sandoval's gonna get through. Does he have the speed? It's a 1v1 chase. Sandoval chasing, can't get there in time. It's to Etheridge. It's a tough touch in front of him, the goalie. He's got a power one away, and it's controlled in the heart of the midfield and we have by an Tommy injury Madden. Stoppage for Cardiff. Uriah Madden could have continued on an attack, but Cardiff, of course, with a player down, they'll stop. Can't quite well, tell who that never is. Stops, obviously, but they'll stop play in action. Right Can't ball. quite tell who that is for Cardiff, misses. but he was holding it's his holding the, the back of his head, Sandoval and then finally over. just uh, went down on all fours and uh, stoppage there as the ice pack to the head is coming out from the training staff. Well, New Mexico United not just hanging here with Cardiff City, but they're flexing their muscle a little bit, showing that they are a true professional program in the United States. Yeah, that was a really important look by Devin Sandoval to get that one on goal, make Etheridge sweat a little bit, make him think about what might happen there just because so much of the momentum to end the first half had been on Cardiff's side that you know, not much at least uh, by way of, of uh, real scoring chances coming for United since that goal in the second minute. So that was, a, that was a good one for Sandoval just to maybe wake these guys up a little bit. We saw Sully Mohammed get a nice opportunity at the yes. top of the 18, and then Sandoval there, a true chance. Powerful right-footed shot that just sails wide. Nice crowd here tonight. I'm glad you can be here. Hot evening in the Duke City in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Adam Deal, Sam Hauser. Got the call, ESPN Radio 1017. Also streaming live on New Mexico United's YouTube page and across the pond in Wales as well. Kind of sub in here for Cardiff, 27 coming in. And there's been quite a few subs in, in the roster we have for Cardiff too. We've been having a look online as well because a lot of the under 23 team as well trying to get into the action, uh, making their way in. And so we'll figure it out for you here in just a second. They're under 23 team. A lot of them, as you mentioned, Sam Hauser got to play against San Antonio and get in. I'm not so sure Cardiff impressed with their performance yet. They want to try to even this one out or get in front. 
Looks like that's number tw looks like that's Ibrahim Miete coming in for Cardiff on that injury sub. Here's a quick counter now for United as we start play again after the injury. Mohamed will back it out. Good piece of skill to keep it. Here's Ryan Williams. Does he want to go through? Sandoval, no. Instead, he'll use Goss on the left wing. Goss is going to send it in. He's looking for Sandoval to head, and it was headed away at the six-yard box. Still not down, and Madden will get on top of it. Daniel Bruce will hold on to it. Back to Madden in the midfield as he touches it to Sully Mohamed. Keeps it all the way to the left wing, Austin Yearwood. And he'll back it out to Justin Smith. What does Smith do? A little chip. Looking for Goss, who pulls it down. Nice cut inside the midfield to keep possession. Right to left, here come United. They're on top 1-0 in the 54th minute. Has to be a cool opportunity for Daniel Bruce. I mean, he's not a Cardiff fan, but I think he, I think he said he was a, grew up as a, a Wolves supporter, but still just coming from, from over that side. Blasphemy. Uh, yes. Says the Wales supporters. <laughs> Interesting story from Daniel Bruce. Great conversation that we had with him. 1-2, and Yearwood is through. On the near side, touches inside the 18, it's Sandoval off the PK spot, and it was tipped away. He had it right in front of the net. He mishit it. It's still loose, and United on top of it is Sampson will send it to the right wing. Daniel Bruce will back it out. Oh, and the crowd knows how big that was. A 1-2 to Williams inside the box. It's Madden now will send it across, and it was tipped out of play. Or was it just a tough cross for Madden? It was. It'll be a goal kick. Yeah, Devin Sandoval knows that was a missed opportunity. He put his hands on his head, just completely whiffed on that one. What a great ball, though, by Austin Yearwood. The recognition to see Sandoval in the middle of the box, one-on-one, -on -one, un Sam, untouched. We're looking at the replay because we have the benefit of it. If you're joining us on the live stream, you're watching it. Devin Sandoval does not miss from there. He's by himself. He just needs to make contact with the ball clean, and it's 2-0, and instead Cardiff lived to hold it down. It's 1-0 as it's cleared away by Sampson. High looking for Sandoval. Daniel Bruce will hold on to it. Bruce tried to switch the pace of play to the near side, and it's out of play for Cardiff. They've got a throw in coming in the 55th minute. Troy Lassane trying to keep these guys motivated, trying to keep them positive. That's one of the... One of the themes of the night, that was one of the keys to the match at the very beginning, was just to, just no matter what happens tonight, just to stay positive. And you know, that's one that Devin Sandoval is going to be thinking about for a while, but we also know that he's fully capable. Nine times out of ten, he scores there. I think 99 out of 100, I'd go further. Probably, yeah. All right, so through ball the other way for Cardiff, too far in front. And United control, 56th minute. Akamatsu way back in the second minute. Feels like years ago, Sam. United score to be on top. They stay on top, at least for now. How about Bury keeping his composure in net? He's been all over the place. He's been all over that, that well, 16 yard box. Well, do you remember shaky at the beginning and then had a couple of saves that he's come through? You're right. And just, you know, it's kind of like in, you know, it's like in football, in American football for us over here, for the people that are watching this match in Wales, you know, you, know, you take that first hit, kind of gets you settled in. Took, it took uh, Bury a little while, but he made a couple big saves and now he's locked into the rest of this match. Tipped out of bounds of throw in coming for United to the far side of the field. Right to left they attack. It's Ethan Sampson on top of it. How about the run from Yearwood, by the way, that set up that whole play with Sandoval? Yeah, phenomenal job by, by Yearwood to have the recognition to see Sandoval, the selflessness to pass it. Perfect setup. Couldn't, ask, couldn't have asked for much more. So a free kick coming as a late tackle for United. Cardiff right at midfield. Left to right here, their attack. Everyone inside the box for Cardiff and United. High ball deep inside the box is laid back and it's still loose. Ryan Williams had a flick and out sent in by Folks and it was headed away. It was Devin Sandoval coming back defensively to Trek. Murphy on the far side will keep possession for Cardiff. They're in the attacking third. Now on the left wing. Bennett, who's been busy on a 1-2, takes it down on his chest. Bennett's inside the 18. It was deflected away last moment by Madden. And here comes Soli Muhammad on top of it. Muhammad was tackled clean, but it was right into the feet of Sandoval. Checking high and able to keep possession United. It was Ryan Williams playing as the attacking midfielding role, sitting right underneath Sandoval as United will keep possession through the backfield. Smith will swing it now to Yearwood. Yearwood, who's been involved in the attack, to Josh Goss. A little touch to Sully Mohammed, and Goss will get it back. 
Can he keep it? Goss tucks inside the midfield and back to his own goalie, Ben Bury. Heavy pressure now coming from Cardiff. Bury has to get rid of it near midfield, and the head is won by Bennett for Cardiff towards the far side of the field, and it's kept in play, and an attack coming now left to right. Cardiff for 1 2, a pie, Reed checks on the right foot. He's going to send it far post, and it's in front of everyone. Volks couldn't get on the end of it, and a goal kick coming for United. 58th minute, it's 1 0, Sam. We talked about this earlier on in the broadcast. Cardiff City, they beat San Antonio 1 0 on Saturday, and the lone goal in that match was on a PK early in the second half. So these USL sides have been able to, to hold their own defensively, and so far here through the into the 59th minute, as Cardiff will bring in another sub. Lewis DeMauer will check in number 20 for Cardiff and Matthew Connolly. Number 16 will make his way on here for Cardiff City FC. 59th minute. You're listening to this broadcast live here on ESPN Radio 1017, the team over your radio airwaves and on the ESPN Radio app. And also streaming live through ProView Sports Network on New Mexico United's YouTube page and over in Wales as well. Wherever you're joining, glad you could be here. We're having some fun on a hot evening. As Cardiff have a throw in here on the near side. Their attack is left to right. They're in bright orange, trimmed up in blue. It's a great play off the chest of Volks, and Volks will step forward, and he fought off Tommy Madden, who isn't small, by the way, Madden. And Madden's able to draw the foul and a free kick coming for United at a quick start by Soli Mohammed finds Rashid Tete, dances around. It's a higher press now for Cardiff. Can United play over it? Can they find Sandoval checking and play off into the midfield? That's what they're going to have to do. Well, that's what you want to see if you're Troy Lusain. And, and Devin Sandoval's been doing just that after the missed opportunity. He hasn't let that get to him. He hasn't been sulking around and letting one mistake turn into another one. Been right there exactly where you want him to be. Well, what a play by Schmidt, who was able to keep it in a 1-2, then Sandoval to Ryan Williams, and it was deflected out of play, and another substitution come in. You're going to see a lot of this yeah. tonight coming in for Cardiff. Greg Cunningham, the left back. He's going to play up where he's supposed to, or excuse me, back where he's supposed to, at left back. Cunningham checks in for the first time mentioned Will Volks for Cardiff, one of their new summer signees, one of a couple new additions to the roster that are playing their first games with Cardiff. Yearwood checking his Goss. Great turn by Goss, still on top of it, and it's finally deflected out of play by Cardiff. It was Volks that you were just mentioned who stepped in front of it. And now a quick throw in for United. In the attacking third, it's Yearwood. He tried to put it through the legs of a Cardiff player, and out of play, they're going to say it's a Cardiff throw. -in. Kind of tough with a couple of uh, Cardiff subs just sitting over there by the corner. And it makes it a little bit, a little interesting situation, but they get the ball. Josh Goss wins the first head. The second ball is won by Sandoval, and then it was brought right back. Peltier did a good job, but a high press has a throw in for United near midfield. Yeah, just a poor goal kick there, just straight out of bounds, right around the midfield line. Sandoval checking high, back to Goss, back to Sandoval. It was a shallow pass that was stolen away. Peltier able to jump in front of it in the 50, excuse me, 62nd minute. It's 1-0 United on top of Cardiff. Ken Akamatsu in the second minute, the difference so far. Pace of play here, a bit, a bit sloppy, a lot of new substitutions. A lot of free kicks, a lot of throw-ins. There's there's no real possession on either side. No, and some guys slipping as well, which has been a little bit interesting, but no doubt that New Mexico United has dominated the time of possession tonight. High ball sent by Cardiff on the free kick was headed away. Second ball is still loose and could be sent in. It's Murphy. It was touched away by Goss, who came screaming in. Murphy, who has switched from the left wing to the right wing, from the left wing back to the right wing, is on top of it now. He steps inside of the 18. Murphy's dangerous. He tried to touch it around Matting. Couldn't. Matting got a foot on it just in time. But the pass to Bruce was stolen away and dumped right outside the 18. And Cardiff have a free kick coming here. About 21 out in an advantageous spot. Volks went down. Goss is trying to argue it. He's not going to win that appeal. Volks knew what he was doing. He pushed it right by the defenders, and he fell and 
Watching it again. Some he feet. knew what he was doing the whole time. He pushed that right and far in front of him. But that's what you do. Right. Yeah, some feet getting tangled up here with Goss. Well, finally, we get the attendance. We thought it was going to be close to 7,000. Indeed, it is. 6,300. 6, yeah, tonight, which is a nice atmosphere here at the University of New Mexico Soccer Complex. And I promise you this, the sellouts will continue. And over at the lab at Isotopes Park, just averaging under 13,000. Here's the free kick coming for Cardiff. It's about... 23 out, sent into the back of the net, curled in. Bury didn't even look at it, and we're tied at one. And the free kick was flawless. It was a left foot taken, curled right in, upper V. Yeah, perfect Bury ball there. didn't even look to make a play. Well, he couldn't. There was nothing he could do there. It's, you know, like a, a outfielder in baseball just watching a home run go over his shoulder because there's no point in running towards the wall. I mean, that was an absolutely perfect ball by Cardiff. Nothing for Bury to do, and we are tied at one. 64th minute. Wow. I, there's nothing to say. We just watched the replay, Sam, and it's just, okay, what are you going to do there? It no. just curled right in. Pace was perfect. Upper V. And we're tied 1-1 here. Now Cardiff to have a little pep in their step. Murphy on the outside, dancing. He's got it. It's a through ball. And this on the end line. Sit back across. And that dangerous. Looked like that one uh, caught the post and kind of deflected right over to Bury. Yeah. He had to and grab that one off of balance. He's able to prevent the goal. Nice job by Bury. And that goal... Brought to you by Preventive Pest Control. Makes ants, mice, bugs, pests, weeds go away. It's simple as that. And that's where you, this is where you tip your cap to Cardiff City. This is more what we expected to see in anticipation, in anticipation of this match a little bit earlier in the evening. This is what we... It reminds me a lot of Minnesota United. Listen, New Mexico United scored first that game. Right. And all of a sudden, Minnesota woke up and it was goal, goal, goal. We were seeing Cardiff starting to play with confidence and buzz around, showing you that... They were the English Premier League team for 17 years, showing you their class right now. This is going to be a very difficult stretch right now for New Mexico United. We're tied 1-1 in the 65th minute. A throw under the near side. Peltier. It's tipped away. Daniel Bruce now to Ryan Williams. Can he create a counter? He just backs it out. Has to. It's such a high press. And there's really nothing in the midfield. It's like Cardiff is laying the midfield for United. Oh! And United can't do much about it. Yearwood tries to go high, and it was off the face of a Cardiff player. And out of bounds for United, throwing to the near side. Props by him just to get right back up, right in the face. Murphy, can he keep it in play? Yes, but he was dispossessed by Soli Muhammad, and then they're going to say Soli Muhammad was too aggressive about it, and a free kick coming at midfield Fans, for Cardiff. Please stay off the railing around the track. We don't want anyone to get hurt. Fans, please stay off the railing around the track. Thank you. Lucas Cash, our PA announcer, making sure everyone's safe here. And enjoy the rest of the night. Cardiff's going to send everyone into the 18. This is going to be served in. Peltier, he's looking to go corner of the 18. Now it's going to be deflected towards the top of the 18 on a one-timer, and it sails wide. That's exactly how they drew it up, Cardiff. It'll be a goal kick now for United. Yeah, this group of 10 on the field for Cardiff right now moving much better, much more swiftly than they did in the first half. As we get the goal kick here for United in the 67th minute. High goal kick for United out of play and a throw in coming. So Cardiff has tied it up 1 1 off a free kick. Loose in the midfield. Still loose. And finally, United on top of it. Rashid Tete back to his goalie. Bury, he can only just get rid of it as he'll send it as high as he can, looking for Santa Ball. First head is one of the midfield. Second ball, Ethan Sampson on the right wing out to Daniel Bruce. Now Sampson, Rashid Tete will reset it. Checking in the midfield, Sully Mohamed, he turns. Mohamed has some room all the way to the near side wing. It's Josh Goss as he deflects it off of Peltier and out of play by Mohamed and a throw in for Cardiff. 
Yeah, that one last touch by Muhammad trying to keep it in bounds, just couldn't quite do it, playing right along the right along the sideline. High ball was deflected away. Mohammed will jump in front of it. Now hands it off to Daniel Bruce in the midfield in their own half. United tied up 1-1 here in the 68th minute with Cardiff. Schmidt checking Madden back to Schmidt. You look back and what could have been with Devin Sandoval maybe making it 2 nothing. Seems like years away, doesn't it? As Cardiff have tied this now. Mohamed in the midfield as United trying to play some keep away in their own half. Looking high as Yearwood, a through ball, and he's going to get a great ball from Smith. Making the trek, and on the back of it is Yearwood, and he was dumped near the end line. Right on the left wing, near the corner, Yearwood was thrown down. A bit aggressive it was by Baltier. And so, yeah, just a shove from behind. Free kick is coming. This is a great spot, almost like a corner kick for United. Not quite on the end line, but they'll be able to curl this in nice and a chance for New Mexico. And we'll see how the how United gets set up. Not really stacking the box right now. Maybe trying to play something out high. See what they want to do here is now guys start to make their way inside the box. Well, it'll be Josh Gosh on the left foot who will send it in. Goss sends it back post. It's in the air high, and it was headed away and clear of danger by Cardiff and a fight for it now in the midfield. And Yearwood now battling and going to be called. And he had a, some choice words for the official. We won't uh, assume to know what that was, but the official will give him a warning. As he was getting into it, Looks like we're going to take a Murphy. hydration break. You are all over that hydration break, Sam. It is a hydration break here in the 70th minute. The clock will continue to run, and we're going to keep it right here for your action. It's 1-1. New Mexico United and Cardiff City all tied up. Beautiful free kick for Cardiff. That tied it. It was Akamatsu in the second minute for United that put New Mexico on the board. That's the difference so far. Obviously, Cardiff have taken over the tempo. Those of you back home watching the stream, you could watch the gorgeous free kick again. Mm. Bury just was wondering, was the net going to shake behind him? And indeed it did. Sam oh, it shook. It, did. it shook, all right. Fantastic ball there. Both goals have been uh, certainly highlight worthy, uh, both sides here tonight. How about the crowd tonight? We're getting an overview of it, and I mean, it's going to be shy of 7,000. Obviously, we've been getting crowds of, I say we, New Mexico United, have been getting crowds of about 15,000, average almost 13,000. And tonight, this is all that New Mexico, University of New Mexico, could fit in here. Yeah, not, not much more you could ask. 6,347 was the official announced attendance, kind of similar to what we saw in the first couple home matches going back to the beginning of the season, but that's been the story of the season, that it just constantly grew from there, from 7 to 8 to 10 to 12, you know, up to, up to 15 and constantly selling out Isotopes Park. And, you know, Adam, certainly it would be nice to see United be at home more and give these fans more of an opportunity to go to the games. But when they do come back, when they do have the, what, what's been a rare home game here in Albuquerque, it just makes it all the all the sweeter and all the more enticing for for these fans to come out and it certainly helps keep those numbers up and by the way you could listen to every united broadcast on your flagship station here on espn radio 1017 the team and also live coverage of all your sporting events throughout the year on television proview sports network 72nd minute will start up play again left to right cardiff gonna set a ball into the box and Justin Smith, he has been busy. He has been unbelievable tonight as he heads it away. Cardiff on top of it. Switching now to the left wing, it's Murphy. He's been all over the place, combining with Folk near the 18, and Folk's touch was too far in front of him. And maybe Folk had a cleat up too high as he was trying to secure the ball that got away from him. It's a free kick for United in their own territory. 1-1 one, one the score here. And certainly getting into crunch time now as we get into the 73rd minute. Time for somebody to make a move here pretty soon. Daniel Bruce on the right wing will collect a pass. He tries to combine in the midfield and it was taken away. But Cardiff will misplay as well. So a throw in coming on the far side.
throw in here for United. Not much happening. Things quieting down a little bit. The pace of play sure has. A high ball is taken away in a fight for it in the midfield. It's one. Murphy's on the outside wing now, turning. Combining up high, and it's out of play by Cardiff. A little bit sloppy on both sides. Getting up and looking like he's going to make an entrance into this game. It's unbelievable. Gabe Legendre, a local here from Cleveland High School, fresh off a state championship, the junior. Looks like he could come in. It's from a youth division development that United have created. We'll talk about that in just a moment, but Gabe Legendre is up. He's getting ready, and you're probably going to see him. He is still eligible, by the way. This is not a pro debut. It's through the program that USL allows, and so you could see a 16-year-old making his way into a game like that. That would be very good for for this local area, for Cleveland High School, for everybody involved. Yeah, well, I mean, you talk about the ultimate selling point for anybody that's coming up through the system, anybody at the, the middle school or, there's, or even at the at the JV level to say, hey, this is what can happen. You're looking at it. He's putting on the Miao Wolf jersey. He's coming into a game. What a great recruiting tool this is, and a great just a great coaching tool for Cleveland High School as he's getting the, the hug and the high five from Troy Lassane. So he is going to make his way to center field as a goal kick coming here for New Mexico United. Gabe Legendre will make his way in. Is the substitution allowed yet? Not yet, so we'll wait for it. But what a big moment for him and for the state of New Mexico for Cleveland High School is head coach Sean Gill and Garrett York. I know very proud of them back home. Back and forth, a ball goes now high to Sandoval, combines with Daniel Bruce up high. Bruce into the midfield for United. We're tied up at one if you're just joining us. Stolen away by Madden now, Tommy Madden. Try to get it to Sandoval and, and out of play. There's just no pace. There's just a lot of unorganized ball right now in the 75th minute. And this substitution is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson Window and Door Replacement. Your go-to high-quality, affordable, and energy-efficient window replacements. Call 2269187 today for your free consultation. That's 2269187. Gabe Legendre from Cleveland High School has just entered the game. The high-performance youth academy that United have developed. And he'll step into the midfield, number 22. As Josh Goss is dazed, and I thought Josh Goss, by the way, did well and was able to create a couple of early opportunities for United. His day will be done, and he gets a nice high five and a hug from Troy Lassane. Very happy of his efforts. Yeah, great performance. It's 1-1. United tied with Cardiff in the 76th minute. A turn to the midfield for Reed will send it to the near side. Left to right, here come Cardiff. A lot of room on the wing and a cutback, and this is dangerous at the top of the 18 now. Cutting in, keeping possession, switch it to the far side, Cardiff. It swung in to the top of the 18 and over everyone's head and out for a goal kick. Well, Cardiff, they had taken over momentum both sides it's been a bit sloppy here in the last few moments the game has kind of died off the pace of it not a lot of op excuse me opportunities on either side yeah exactly team uh, both sides are, are trying to find that one last strategic move that they can make here late in this match that's a great leave a dummy by Madden but it went right through to Cardiff in the midfield Fight for it on the far side at midfield, and it's out of play and a throw in for United for Ethan Sampson, the right back, who holds onto it with the right hand as he looks forward. Again, Kenny Akamatsu in the second minute for United. Got the party started. Cardiff have answered. They have equalized. We're tied at one. Schmidt back to Bury as goalie. And he just has to get rid of it. High press. It's been high press this entire second half for the Bluebirds. Sandoval won the first head. Second head back to Tommy Madden. Here's Daniel Bruce to Madden. Can't combine. And there's just been no chemistry in that midfield. And a quick counter. And watch out. Here come Carter for the far left wing. Numbers pushing forward. Backing up is Rashid Tete. He made a nice play originally to dispossess and then was able to as Carter will hold on to it. That's yes, where the legs start to get heavy, and you just got to try to, oh, as heavy collision. Sandoval was hammered 
and he was sandwiched in between two players. And then a Cardiff player, I think, ran into his own Yeah, guy. that was a collision between two Cardiff players and a, a heavy collision. I think there might have been head-to-head -head contact there and a, a Cardiff player down and looks to be badly hurt. Stoppage of play as the time will continue to roll here in the 78th minute. Now, usually in these friendlies, I'll tell you, there's never a lot of uh, stoppage time that's added on. Usually it's a couple minutes even in these situations, even when there's been a hydration break. You saw that in the first half, right. two minutes. I don't even think they allowed the full two minutes. No, there wasn't. Because friendlies, you, you, you want your players to get fit. You want your players to be informed, but you don't want any injuries for games that are actually going to matter going forward. Remember, for Cardiff, they're just getting ready for the English Championship League. Right, right. They're and just getting ready for that season to start in August, as opposed to United also. Losing players would be drastic tonight in the middle of a playoff race in the Western Conference. Right, this is where really you get to be the, the swing part of the season here for United. The the, the fun extra stuff is over and, and all that's left after tonight is to just fully focus on the, uh, on, on the rest of the league schedule here in the USL and the Western Conference. And again, Short turnaround after tonight, going to Sac Republic on Saturday. So certainly here for United, don't want don't want anything bad to happen uh, here in the last uh, about the last 12 minutes. All right, 79th minute, we're tied at one, back to action. Cardiff have it. Their attack is left to right here. Voltier is on top of it on the right foot. And he'll back it out. Heavy touch as Sandoval chases. Cardiff will swing it around the back. It's a good play by Sean Morrison to keep it away from Sandoval. And a touch in the midfield. I think it's a lot of substitutions. Both teams have struggled with it. Here's a touch inside the box, and it's still loose. And Tommy Madden with a nice move, able to set himself free. And here comes a counter. It's a four on four the other way. Madden, he really didn't know what to do with it. He'll send it out wide to Daniel Bruce on the right wing. Ethan Sampson will try to get around him. Bruce on the right wing in the attacking half. And now United will back it out. Rashid Tete in the midfield checking. It's Sully Mohammed. Mohammed. Dances around, opening up is Legendre. And here's the youngin's first touch of the left foot, Legendre. He'll keep it with Sully Muhammad. Muhammad, he'll switch field to the far side as the referee would have called the foul, but United with possession, he'll just allow that instead. The advantage will play on to their own territory in front of Sully Muhammad. And that's a bad pass by Schmidt, and he'll say, My bad. He'll wave. That's Sully Muhammad at a throw in coming for Cardiff now. Big cheer from the crowd when uh, from the crowd when Legendre got the ball on his foot when he got the touch. Just won a championship in November in 5A soccer. It's the highest classification of soccer here in New Mexico against Mayfield. As Cardiff now will swing it around to the far left wing. Bennett will play a high ball. And can anyone get on the end of this? Yes, it's dangerous, and it's near the end line. And nope, finally it was out of play, and then it was deflected. No, it was actually deflected out of play. I apologize for Rashid Tete. And so a corner now coming for Cardiff. Getting into the late stages of the game here, Adam, and just looking across the way at the scoreboard, you know, it's great to see we're still tied at one, but one of the things that stands out, since that goal for United in the second minute, and since then, just two shots on goal over about the last 78 minutes, trying to find one, trying to find something that they can uh, get going here to end this game on a high note. Combination inside the box, and this is dangerous on the end line of the far left wing. It's sent back across the box. It's headed down. It's off the post. It's still loose, and it didn't go in. It hit the crossbar. It bounced straight down, and I believe it never crossed the line. The officials are going to say no. There is no VAR, by the way. They're not going to review this tonight. And so live to fight another day. United, Cardiff still on top of it. It was centimeters away from being 2-1. to one. Wow. Going to get a look at the at the replay here as that was very close in real time. Watching it hits the crossbar, goes straight down. And no, that was nowhere near the line. Yeah, it was nowhere near it. It's a good look. A great job by the broadcasting crew here on the live stream, the Proving Network crew. Jason Poole directing tonight on the stream. Giving Alden us Iwani on graphics and instant replay. Everyone has done such a fantastic job to make tonight happen here in the 82nd minute. It's 1-1. It's all the way back to... Cardiff who will send it high. It was Etheridge who sent it about 70 yards. Now Sully Muhammad, he dribbled right into the official. And the fans won't like it. And now Muhammad will have a quick start to Daniel Bruce. Now <laughs> Sully Muhammad is being talked to by the official. He dribbled right into the official. The official new rule now, Sam, is that 
the official can stop playing, give it to whoever lost possession of it if he is involved in the play, and that's what he does now. So United, and then United will tried have to go too quick after to that. Tell you. Yeah, and United trying to go too quick with the. Why well, don't blame Mohamed? What are you supposed to do? He no, the ball of course. Down and he started quick. Like what Cardiff's got to get back, and now he's being talked to again. And you know what? This this official's out of line right now. And now he's going to pick the ball. If he wants to give it to somebody else to take the free kick, and he's going to drop it. So it's got to be a drop ball from the official. And Soli Mohamed and this referee, they're just not getting along, let's just say that. So now United finally start play up again. A high check for Ryan Williams. It's been quiet here in the last moments. Good move by Daniel Bruce on the outside wing as Williams will try to find accommodation. It's back to Rashid Tete, the center back. Tete on a deflection back to Ethan Sampson. Mohamed will hold on to it. It's Tete. Can he go high now? He does, but right to Cardiff, who will turn to the counter, and it was taken away in the midfield by Soli Mohamed. He's such a big frame, isn't he? He's so good defensively. Legendre will break up high, and it's behind him. And Mohamed and Legendre could not connect, and it's a throw in on the near side, excuse me, for Cardiff. We're tied 1-1 in the 84th minute. Out of deal along with Sam Hauser. It's United coverage right here on ESPN Radio 101.7. The team is streaming live as well. Yeah, Legendre trying to push that ball upfield, got a little bit too antsy, and it was just behind him. Legendre was pushed from behind, and Legendre in stature, not the tallest or thickest, but I'll tell you, he is quick, and he is good on the ball. Well, and United's got a couple of guys like that. That's why you know, this team is really balanced with size and speed, and it's what's led to the successful start in their inaugural season. Checking highs, Williams, that's a great back flick to Yearwood and a touch of the midfield now to Sandoval, flicks it on to Williams, takes a touch of the box. He could have one time if he wanted, try to bring it down, and second ball was deflected away. What a chance for Ryan Williams, and now quickly Cardiff the other way. Good job tracking back his Tete. He took it off his chest to keep possession. United on top of it. If you're just joining us, 85th minute, and we're squared up at one. United and Cardiff going at it. High ball looking for Daniel Bruce through, and it's going to get through everyone. Bruce wasn't on the same page. So Etheridge will come out, and he'll send it high himself back the other way, left to right. Got through everyone, and it was flicked on on the head back to Ben Bury. He'll take his time here. Now, will there be extra time, or is this going to just end, or would it just end as a 1 1? 1 1 is, they'll draw it here, and it's friendly. They should just go straight to a shootout. What do you say? I'm all for that. I'm a <laughs> proponent of the shootout. Plenty of time, though, here in the 86th minute. Tied up one way. Yeah, not trying to end the game yet. Certainly by no means. Second ball in the midfield. Ryan Williams went down too easy to get that call. It's Tommy Madden, though. He'll win the second ball. Madden pushes forward heavy, cuts it back in the midfield, and he's got a lot of room with Sully Muhammad in the attacking third right to left. Here come United. Muhammad back to Tommy Madden. Madden will turn. Williams has to go backwards. It's Muhammad near midfield. Backs it all the way out to Schmidt on the left wing here. Very good ball Legendre control for Madden for Takes somebody a touch that on fast. the inside. Legendre will back it out. He goes back to Schmidt and keeps possession. Checking is Madden and going high is Sampson through on the far right wing. That's a gorgeous ball. Sampson wins it, tries to send it back across. He was chased down nicely. Couldn't get all of it, Sampson. And it deflects right to Etheridge on the near post, who's able to pull it down easy. But a nice, dangerous attack there for New Mexico United. Yeah, heavy collision over on the far corner. Mexico trying to be aggressive here at the end of the match. 1-1 one, our one score. Here comes Devin Sandoval just sprinting around. Good, good for you, Devin. <laughs> so that's one more sprint than you've done today, Sam. Uh, it's one more sprint that I've done in about the last 10 years. <laughs> 87th minute. Daniel Bruce on top of it. It's 1-1. Akamatsu scored in the second minute. It was equalized in the 60th. A gorgeous free kick from Cardiff. We're all tied up. United trying to keep possession. Daniel Bruce back to Tete, right at the 18 in his own half. Tete was looking for Justin Smith. Has to skip him. Goes to Legendre. Combines in the midfield. And Legendre, he looks like he fits right in, doesn't he? Oh, back absolutely. In the midfield, the year would now Tete on a one time. It's Tommy Madden can turn it. They get out of the pressure so nice, and now they can go. Here's Mohamed across midfield to the right wing. 
Checking now as Ryan Williams is going to get it. He'll backtrack to Tommy Madden, who could switch it to the near side. Instead, Tommy Madden will push forward. Yearwood will go through. He's inside the box. Yearwood on a touch of the foot. It was deflected out. It'll be a corner. Yearwood got through. It came right into the edge of the corner of the box, and it was deflected out last moment. Ditch effort, or Yearwood was in. Oh, and a great clean tackle there by Cardiff City to avoid a, a possible penalty kick. I mean, it was a great job there for the clean tackle to just kick that one out. If he's a second lady, trips here wood in the box and that's dangerous but still a great opportunity here for United on the corner kick one of the most dangerous teams in the USL at the corner this corner kicks brought to you by cinnamon cafe they offer fresh selection of breakfast and lunch at two locations Ryan Williams gonna set it back post and Smith on top of it at the 18 it was Bruce it was deflected it's still loose Bruce is gonna go down he's appealing for a PK and the referee says stand up Ball brought right back into Sandoval, top of the 18. He'll back it out to Legendre. Play is live here, 1-1 in the 89th minute. Legendre will switch the pace of the play, play to the right wing, and Ethan Sampson will hold on to it. Sully Mohammed steps in front. Mohammed in a checking Sandoval, had it deflected away from him. He'll Maradona around a defender. Sandoval with a nice spin and a nice turn. He uses his body to shield it well, and the attack stays. Left wing, here's Legendre. Legendre going to send it in. He was looking for Sandoval that was diving in. It was too far in front of him. Etheridge able to grab it, and Cardiff have it deep in the 89th minute here. And they're going to take their grand old time here. That was a great rush by New Mexico United late in this match. Cardiff's not going to be in any kind of hurry at now, I would imagine. Well, the momentum has shifted, hasn't it, to United's way, but Cardiff get a deflection back there. Way in about 40 out. Never mind. Is straight away. What do I know? <laughs> it was Josh Murphy, and he sends it over the post. Crowd is on their feet here and stomping the metal bleachers. You might be able to hear it in the 90th minute. And we'll see what the stoppage time is in just a moment. 1-1 one, one our score. Ball, goal kick sent high as Sandoval was pushed from behind. No call on that one. And look at this, Sully Mohammed. He's so aggressive defensively. Slows down the attack, but Cardiff have it left to right. There's some room in the midfield, and a good job by Daniel Bruce, who tracks back to slow it down. On the left wing now, set in by Bennett, and it's going to touch nobody and sail out of bounds. Ben Bury never had to touch it. It'll be a goal kick for United. Yeah, good move there by Bury to just let that one go out of bounds as we'll be getting the signal from the sideline referee any second now for how much extra time there will be in theory, even though it may or may not actually be that much as he puts up four minutes. So four minutes, remember there has been a goal, there's been an injury, there's been a hydration break as a high ball looking for Legendre. It's headed out of play. Legendre did a good job of pushing the tempo. And so a throw in coming in the attacking third near the corner flag. United right to left here, 1-1 one, one our score, we're in stoppage time, four minutes at it. The year would throw in this one in, trying to find exactly the right place. Step back out to Yearwood. Nice fake. Yearwood's going to send it in on the right foot. It's Daniel Bruce who tries to touch it. Daniel Bruce maybe took one too many touches. It had to be one time at Cardiff can counter. They've got numbers. It's switched to the far side. Sampson steps in front of a through ball and able to deflect it the other way to Mohammed. Here's Tommy Madden. Back to Tete. And New Mexico United trying to keep the ball right now. Ryan Williams to the outside. Daniel Bruce will check inside the midfield to Madden. Madden will put it through. It was clicked the other way in a late dump as Daniel Bruce went down. And so about 35 out will be a free kick straight away here for New Mexico United. And I can tell you what, this is a perfect spot to put one on frame. Yeah, this is the game right here. I mean, the United has a chance to, to put its exclamation mark on the game as they've done so many times past extra time this season. Another chance to do it right here, but you know, either way, we'll most likely looking at a draw right now, but this is the opportunity that United's been waiting for for a long time here in this match. Well, and United are going to take their time on this one. They want this to maybe be the final moment right. so Cardiff can't catch a counterattack the other way. It's Devin Sandoval stands over to the right foot. I think he's going to get the nod here. About 30 he? out, right to left in stoppage time. Everyone on top of the 18 will crash the goal as soon as this free kick leaves the foot. Sandoval's going to fire. Sandoval keeps it nice and low and stepping on top of it. Etheridge really didn't have to do much, did he? It was low. It curled over the wall, but it was right in front of Etheridge as he holds onto it tight. 
Yeah, that was the right call, though, by Sandoval to go over the wall and just try to go for a go for a home run shot right there. He got it to Etheridge, who just happened to be in the right oh, place at the right time. Here's Sandoval. He's off sides. It looked like for a moment he had a step as he flicks it on towards the goal and over it, but it doesn't matter. The flag was up, but a quick one-two and a counter the other way. United had a free kick coming for Cardiff in their own half. We're deep into stoppage time now, a couple minutes in. And take another look at the free kick from those of you watching. And it was never truly dangerous. No, but it was still the right call to go over the wall rather than trying to maybe set up something else and try well, to have like, somebody cut it, cut in. I think the shot was exactly what you wanted right. in that space. Just to let, uh, let the... Let because the, of the angle, it's almost it's almost impossible to, right. to devise a play to send one in. So let the I'm match be you. on Devin Sandoval's foot. Well, Cardiff have a throw in. Now in the near right wing. And they'll have a chance to send one more in two, and they could be dangerous with it. A move for Mendez. Top of the 18 now with it. It's still loose. A left footed shot's going to sell way wide. Left footer about 25 out. Bury didn't even look to dive on that one. Credit to both kick. of these teams here at the end of the match, Adam. They're both just, they're both really going for it here over the final minutes. Well, United's going to look back at this, and I, I think. Going forward, back into the Western Conference, back into the USL and Division II soccer here in the United States. I think they're going to take a lot out of this. As there it is, full time, the University of New Mexico Soccer Complex. Cardiff won, New Mexico United won. It's a draw tonight. And I know Troy Lesang going to be happy with what he's seen. We'll step aside. Post game coming your way if you want to call in, you want to get in the action on the radio side on ESPN Radio 1017, the team 994 1017. That's 994 1017, area code 505. We'll be back in just a moment. Final score New Mexico United 1, Cardiff FC 1. Back in a moment. in China as an entrepreneur, uh, building a, a consumer-focused business there, uh, living in Shanghai. I'm Jonathan Crane, I'm CEO of Brandships. I started to see some very major uh, growth trends happening in China. I saw an opportunity to launch Crane Shares, an ETF company that would really help U.S. and global investors better understand how to invest in China. Crane Shares in New Mexico United dare to go where others have not.
Where's Roush and Justin? I don't know, bro. Yo, this is crazy. Y'all gotta come check this out. Come on, come on. One to Mexico United, Cardiff City FC. Got a draw tonight. Ken Akamatsu in the second minute, and then it was equalized a little bit later on a gorgeous free kick. You're listening to ESPN Radio, or you're watching on our live stream brought to you by ProView Networks. And visit Albuquerque as well, ProView Sports Network crew. By the way, I want to thank the entire team. Unbelievable job tonight. Jason Poole directing on graphics and replay. Alden Iwani, our camera crew, entire camera crew from Chris John Molina, Jude Apodaca, Josh Luna. Everyone who's made it happen, Steve Davis, president and owner of ProView Sports Network. As the 1-1 game, it was a lot of opportunities. Devin Sandoval had a, a big opportunity to maybe make it 2-0. A couple of opportunities for each team in the second half. We hope to have Troy Lesane here in just a moment. Team president on ESPN Radio uh, will continue here in our post game. Joe O'Neill. And we'll send it to him here in just a sec. That's going to end our stream for tonight. Thank you for joining us on the live stream. Stick with us on ESPN Radio 1017. And so, Joe O'Neill, you're with Troy Lesane in a 1-1 tie. And 